Well, hi, welcome in everyone. It is a Tuesday, the 16th of April, 2024. Uh, more Pokemon. Hey, Alessa, how you doing? Good to see you. Welcome in. Right. What are we doing? What are we doing? Where am I? Who am I? Spec is singing, who are you? She really wants to know. Who are you? Oh... Just tell her who are you. 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 Ah! You. Ah, Ultra Bolt, finally. Oh, hang on, don't I have a thing? Hang on, I think I got a thing where this guy will sell me stuff like half the price. Um... Which is new to this version of the video game. Like, I, I, it wasn't a thing in Sun and Moon, I think. Like, original Sun and Moon, I think. Where, 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 where is it? Ah, here we go, bargain. Uh, it reduces the prices of products out of Pokemarts by half. Hell yeah. Use it. There we go. I wonder how that long... Oh, you can see the bar. You can see the bar for how long it lasts. Uh, in that case, let's buy a bunch of these, baby. Um, how much money do I have? I've got like 41k. Yeah, let's get like 50 of these bad boys. Bargain. Um, I should probably buy some other stuff, but I don't want to. Poker toy? A toy that attracts the attention of a Pokemon. It guarantees escape from any battle with wild Pokemon. I do not remember this. Oh, that's kind of wild. Uh, did I didn't understand correctly that you created your own Minecraft server. Ah, yes, but um, it's it, the efforts of me creating it are greatly over exaggerated. Uh, Stumpen is the one, the wizard behind putting it together. But yes, we have an Azadok in Minecraft server now, thanks to him. And then every Monday, I will stream for a couple of hours, basically, just walking around and pretending like I know what I'm doing in it. But the people that we have in the server itself know what the fuck they're doing. Wizard is a strong word. I stand by it. It's definitely Wizard. The Who song, that's the one. I got some Poka. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. That sounds delicious, Curb. Used to be called Poco Doll. Yeah, I thought it was like you put down a toy, like a, like a, like a plushy toy. And you run away. Yeah, yeah, throw the doll, Mon is distracted, you run. I never saw it as a little, um, a wand toy. That's kind of interesting. I wonder when that happened. Not something I usually buy anywhere in these video games. I just run away, stubbornly. I just press it over and over again. Oh, do I want any of these? Um, no, I don't think I do. Alright, so um, when I finished playing yesterday, there's a couple of things I want to do before I carry on with the story in this. One, I want to go and check on Vulpix to see if it wants some more Malasada, but I need, I might need to buy some more Malasada before I get there. And I want to go and find me a Cubone, because I never got an Alolan Marowak before. Um, I think, what's the best way to do that? For the Alolan Marowak, I need to get a Cubone, and I looked it up. Cubone is in the uh, volcano area. Uh, let me see. I just need to remember where that is. Lush jungle. Here we go. Weller Volcano Park. Dividing Peak Tunnel. This is the area that I want to be in. Um, I don't know how to fast travel to these locations. I think I can only fast travel to like... Can I fast travel to this Pokemon Center? Hang on, I'm doing the fast travel completely wrong. I need to be calling Charizard. There we go. Bear with me for a moment. Oh, I can see. It's marked the areas. Oh, we can go right there. I don't think the odds for getting a cube on are particularly high, and I think it's just the volcano area. So we're just going to head up in there and just hope for the best. Hey, Panda, welcome in. Thank you for the redeem. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Silverdell, welcome in. How you doing, man? Uh, you need to catch it. Um... The after Pokemon holidays usually sales come to 90% off. Hey, then we're just in time. Yeah, I don't know why they call it toy in this one. Normally, it was like a little pixie doll. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think, or whatever the thing um, is called. Yeah, I, I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's like a stuffed little dinosaur toy, which doesn't actually look like any Pokemon in particular, right? I read it wrong in my language too. Oh, what was it meant to be, Cub? If I Google Poka, I find an anchor. Ooh, Hello. Is it a delicious actress, Alyssa? Moon! Oh, sorry. So, yeah, today's poop. Um, I've been having issues with stomach acid for a while. 
And as and it kind of calmed down yesterday, but then flared up in the middle of the night. I did not get much sleep because of it. I'm assuming it's because of the end of fasting and the amount of cheese that I consumed on the way out of fasting. <laughs> but but my poop today was not great. It was actually a little bit painful. Today might be ugh, there was no like it wasn't. I always said if it was like a one or a two, blood would be involved, right? So, no blood was involved. Let's say it was a 3.5 out of 10. Um, the quantity was decent, but like, it just felt awful. I had a I had a pretty bad time pooping today. Much to my upset, huh? What, Chan? Focaccia. Focaccia? Pogacha. Pogacha? What are you saying? Herb is saying Pogacha. Pogacha? What? Huh? Hang on. Pogacha. Oh, we have it here too? Is that what it... Should I pull up an image? Is that... Hang on. Let me copy this thing. Let me, let me pull this. So I need, I, need, I need to look at this in the eyes. Bear with me, people. Oh, yeah. Life is hard enough as it is. Maybe we all have a good bowel movement. Amen. If I don't see an actress, I'm gonna be very upset. Oh, these thingies! Yeah, 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 yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, I fucked with these before. 100%. I like the ones with cheese in it. Like, there's one with yellow cheese in it. There's, like, uh, the salty cheese as well. Uh, I think that's the only ones I've had. Yo, is that with spinach? Yeah, Kerb, I would destroy a few of these, brother. Yeah, especially this one right here. I would destroy this one along with a hand. Oh, hang on. I have a kitty. Hi, kitty. No, 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 kitty. Don't, don't jump on the, don't jump on the, on the laptop. There we go. See? No, nope, that's my controller. Yeah, there you go. We made a little bed for you here. Yeah. Oh my God, he is so stinky today. Oh my God, this fart is so strong. Oh. <laughs> I don't understand how something so small can be so potent. Oh my good lord. I think I described it before, like when he, when he farts like this, um, I, just, I feel like he farts in my mouth directly. It's so gaseous and throat filling, it's awful. Oh, we gotta do something about his diet. Sorry, let me just catch up with the chat. Ah. Oh. She's delish. That's for you to decide. Uh, I had a Pokemon with the stealing ability. Not sure what it was called. And I hadn't realized he had stolen one of those uh, Blissey-like dolls that attract more Pokemon. And I kept getting attacked for ages until I noticed. I remember that. That was funny. I'm hungry now. Yeah, I'm with you. Oh, God. Uh, Spec talking about bread. Yeah. I heard Focaccia. Yeah, I heard Focaccia too. Still bread, but I had pretzel in my mouth, so... Wait, what's going on? Oh, Kitty's over there now. Uh, you're great at giving discuss descriptions. <laughs> I'll give you that. Thanks, Pervot. It's <laughs> like genuinely, thank you. I, you know, it's good to be good at something. <laughs> right, am I technically at the volcano area? I just need to find a patch of grass now. Oh, hang on. I have Kitty again. Oh, Kitty's on the way to you. Are you going to feed Kitty? It's 2 p.m. You already fed him? Oh, that'll explain the potency. What's he doing now? He's being a little cunt. Cool. Okay. Hey, cultist, welcome in. How you doing, buddy? What a thing to be good at. Yep. I'm gonna put that on my resume. When you've dealt with him, and before you start working, because I need to be agile to keep up with him. I am dreading him jumping on my keyboard. I was in. Um, I don't know how he did this. He jumped on my keyboard today and he managed to open up whose Discord server was in it at the time. I think I was in um, um, Profound Badness, PB. I was in his Discord. He pulled up the Discord, somehow went into, oh, we found a keyboard, sick. Went into the chat, typed something and pressed enter. And I, like, I quickly hastily deleted it. And then PB put up a little thing, uh, emote being like, whoa, mod check, like what's going on? And I was like, I'm sorry, that was the cat. <laughs> Oh, it is a Cubone. We got a Cubone. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit the Cubone, but we're not gonna kill the Cubone. Just one of these. Gotta get him his own keyboard. 
You did let the monkey bot, I guess, yeah. Ba -ba. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, another one showed up? Son of a mother. Um, shall I razor leaf them and hope it doesn't murder them completely? No, it's gonna kill them both, isn't it? I'm gonna kill them both. Um. Ah, it's gonna kill them both. I shouldn't. I'm like, 10 levels above them. Let me think. What's the best thing to do? Um. Pluck this one. It's a slightly higher level. Maybe I'll take that one. Cubone! I love those little dude. Me too. Big fan of Cubone. I've always been kind of confused about the whole Pokedex entry stuff and the whole, like, um... thing about the fact that the skull is meant to be the skull of the mother. Not only do they come out of the womb, the, well, the egg, with the thing on top of them, you know? Like, when they turn to a Marowak, it completely changes the shape and everything. It, it doesn't make much sense. I should probably stop thinking too hard about it, but you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those weird things. Yeah, it works for, like, yeah. Or, like, to make them super rare that, you know, it's a thing that they do. I don't know. I don't know. I know, I know the whole... Those rumors, like, whether or not... Uh, or rumors, or, like, uh, an idea that it could be... Genghis Khan, or Kangas Khan, sorry. Like the little baby one, if something happens to the mum, which I think is really interesting. I'm doing good as, glad to be here. Glad to have you, cultist. I'm glad, man. I hope the rest of you are good too. And if you are, remain that way. If you're not, I hope you get better soon. There we go, Marowak on the, Marowak almost on the team, right. I need to switch something out for this fella. It wears his mother's skulls. There we go, just as I said it. It wears, hang on, let me show you this. Uh, it wears its mother's skull on its head, so no one knows. Sorry, so no one knows what its bare face looks like. However, it's clear that it's always crying. Good fucking lord. It's the lonely Pokemon. Like, how utterly depressing is this Pokemon? I love him. Yeah, add him to my party. I'm probably going to have to get rid of um, Eevee. I was going to train up another Eevee to make it a Sylveon. We already got an Umbreon. Quite happy with the other selection of Pokemon that we have. I might get rid of Cha eventually. Uh, but right now, I like having fighting type moves. <laughs> Genghis Khan. That's the one, Stumpin. You know, the Pokemon. I'm also guilty of overthinking about silly game things, so I get it. Yeah, like, I... You know, it's not meant to make... Everything's not meant to make sense. It's fine. Like, who cares? Alright, we now have that Pokemon on our team. What else did I want to do? Um, there was a route with a Vulpix. An Alolan Vulpix where the lady was like, I'll come back the next day to check on it. I don't remember where the route was exactly, but if we keep just going down the normal route, we might find it. Hmm. Oh my god. I was thinking about transferring my Pokemon from uh, Omega Ruby over to this. I'm going to have to transfer them up anyway. So I'm figuring why not throw them into this run to see if there's anything interesting I can pull from the Pokemon that I caught there into this. No rush to do it, but I, th I think I might. Oh, what's this? Oh, look at that. How do you pronounce that? Kecleon? It's making that noise back. Uh, so their breeding must be a one-on-one, -on -one, sorry, one-in-one -one out <laughs> policy. So how did they ever uh, propagate? If every mother dies when they give birth so that the baby can uh, clean off, presumably eating the meat and wear their skull, they can only ever have one child. Population should be continuously going down. That's what I mean, Stumpin. 
Thank you so much for joining me in this endeavor. Oh, wait, this might be super effective if this is grass type. However, also, a Lavatar needs to consume a whole mountain to reach its second stage. So better that we don't take next entries literally. Uh huh. Throw a ball at this one. It's good for it. I like to think that the Pokedex entries are like deliberately exaggerated. You know, like like someone someone fucked up a little bit. And as new information comes to light, we learn new things and correct ourselves. Just like books, you know? Look at this guy. Even though I will continuously- yeah, me too. I will always overthink these things. Did Spec just- no, uh, Spec got attacked. <clears throat> that is the noise of Spec being attacked. It's almost been a week since I trimmed kittens' nails, and I don't trim them very much because I'm always scared of trimming them too much, you know? Like, I've watched plenty of videos and saw plenty of diagrams and, like, how much you can get away with, but I, I only ever trim the tiny bit on the end. Hello, I'm back. It is another day. Oh. Oh, hello. Now, if only you could play outside without getting intimidated by those Team Skull bullies. What should we do? Let's go put it. I'll protect it. That's not a Pikachu, I'm sorry. Oh, good idea. I bet Vulpix will be much more comfortable with you around. Let's go. Q. Vulpix seems like it was having so much fun. Its white fur got all muddy. Hey, Vulpix, did you have fun? Hyun? It can play outside now, too. At this rate, it won't be much longer, Vulpix. We had a lot of fun today, so we should rest. There's more fun to be had tomorrow. Alright, well, I'll come back tomorrow, I guess. Tomorrow being next week at this point. Uh, she alive? Oh, I don't know. I I'll, I'll check after stream. <laughs> Took one slashing damage. <laughs> oh, whoops, wrong one. Uh, what am I doing now? I guess I can fly all the way down to the bottom. Was there anything else I had to do? I got the cube on. I checked on the Vulpix again. Maybe I'm good now? I thought there was something else, but I don't remember. Yeah, let's just continue. I need to go down the uh, the Diglett Tunnel or whatever it's called. Ooh, exciting announcement, by the way. Um, I need to set this up. It's been such a long time since I've updated my mm, redeems for like sound effects or whatnot. But I went to a lot of effort yesterday to access the debug menu in Orphan, Sign of Sorcery, so that I could rip the sound effects. And by sound effects, I mean just fucking um, Ryde and Quentin Flynn just yelling out the hand of Pyro, the bite of lightning, the smoke of pain. And I am so excited about sticking that somewhere on my stream. The bite of thunder! Was it lightning? One of them's thunder, one of them's lightning. I don't know which one goes with the bite and which one goes with whatever the fuck else he does. I don't know if it was like lick of thunder. Nah, that doesn't make any sense. Something else of something else. I think my map just fucked up. The smoke of pain is a pretty good one. Quite happy with the smoke of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also, uh, some, uh what was the fire one? You got the hand of pyro, the pinnacle of the sun. I think is the other fire attack. Regardless, I have them. Don't worry. No one panic. I have them. I just gotta decide how to use them. Oh, I just realized I don't have Zuba. Oh no, wait, I do. The Pokemon next to it. Hey, Deacon, welcome in. It is indeed the Pokemon. They continue to be plentiful and plural. How are you doing? Hmm. Oh, Azza, wasn't it? This cave really is something, you know. It's overflowing with these Pokemon called Diglett, and they are getting really out of hand. Mediocre trainers can't even get through. 
So how's your island challenge going? Let me see which crystals you've earned. Oh, look at you, Azadok, and nice work. I see you even passed Malo's trial. It's about time you had some fun with me. The Diglett have settled down too. If you are as strong as you appear, you should be able to make it through this cave. At the other end of it, you'll find Connie Connie City. That's where my shop is. I'll see you there. Okay. Um, who shall switch around? Should have probably have healed Cubon, but he's still, he still wears off. I don't have any rock type moves to deal with the Zupa. Actually, electricity would probably do it, right? Um, him. When do I get access to a Thunderstone, I wonder? So I need a Thunderstone for Pikachu. And uh, for Cubone, I think he needs to be at a certain level. I don't think it is Stone Evolution. I need to look into that. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the map's completely botched here. Or maybe it's just because I'm inside a cave thingy, it's not showing me it. Uh oh, it's a man. Shit. Uh, could be a randomized redeem, just call orphan that plays an, a random attack call. I was thinking that too, cultist, yeah. So then that way I don't need like five different redeems for a specific one. We could just have a rotating one, right? It's about time you had fun with me. <laughs> I need to not A lot of people talk like that to this kid in this particular video game. Yesterday I thought people were being way too thirsty against your protagonist. This is not the typing matchup I wanted. Uh, uh, um, we just make it wet. Yeah. I think I mentioned it during my orphan stream. Uh, I am itching to play more. Well, firstly, I want to finish off that orphan stream. So maybe, if not this weekend, uh, on Thursday possibly, if I do do a stream then. And it's kind of like reignited my passion for playing some PS2 games. <clears throat> I think I mentioned there's plenty of games in the PS2 library that I haven't touched. Or barely touched. That I've always been mean to go back to. Da 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 da. Uh, you ever played one called Rogue Galaxy? I have not. Rogue, I know of it though. Um, it's like a real-time JRPG with a very distinct cell shading art style. Um, and the galaxy aspect of it makes me think that it probably has a lot to do with space and shenanigans. I think that was one of the games that they... Not remastered. They, they made a, a PlayStation 4 port of it. Like you can play it as a classic game or whatever on the service. If you're on like the premium tier, I think. But no, I haven't played it. That would definitely be one of the type of games on the list. Have you ever played uh, Chaos Legion? That's another game I've always wanted to try out. Diglett. Yeah, Diglett Tunnel. Unheard of. Yeah, maybe Pikachu wasn't the right call. If there's going to be a bunch of... Oh, although, what typing is this Diggler? Is it steel? If it's steel, then maybe I should just punch it, right? Um... I have... Uh, it was one I didn't much get as a kid, but grew up to like it more sick. It was one of those games I really wanted to get when I was younger, but, you know, you're a kid and money, and I had... I had definitely cry at home. <laughs> but I've always wanted to give it a go. Ooh, hello. Uh, which button do I have? I think he's set to. There he is. Will As ever finish his living decks? Yes, definitely. Oh, look at that eight ball. That's so sweet of it. It's like, now please use me more often. I've been forgotten. <laughs> oh, 
pa 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 Yo, Firestone though? Okay, I guess I can double check now if a Firestone would work with uh, Cubone. I don't think it will. Um, I'm pretty sure it's an... It's a... Um, what call it? Yeah, it's unable to. It's like a level thing. I'm just trying to think whether or not it's the same dealio as Raichu if I have to evolve them at a specific time of day, maybe? Phew. With Olivia in charge, we finally managed to make some headway against those Diglett. Oh, Alola. We're members of the Ether Foundation. We work to support Pokemon conservation. It seems like Team Skull was responsible for the Diglett in this cave getting so riled up and bringing them all to the, up to the surface. Oh, Team Skull is just the group of troublemakers, you see. They seem to delight in interfering with trainers and their Pokemon. Diglett normally live in elaborate systems of underground tunnels that take years to dig out. We're here to ensure that they return to their tunnels and let people pass through here without having to fight so many Pokemon. Some of the Diglett are still stuck on or near the surface though, so be careful. Their outfit seems interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kirk, welcome in brother. How are you doing? It's good to see you, man. I am the ninth ball. <laughs> Uh, I had the privilege of having access to the magical Brazilian bootleg market. Hell yeah. Getting PS2 games for the equivalent of $2. I had, um... Um... Like a, a modified PlayStation 1. We never had, like, a hacked PS2. So that's probably why it took me so long to getting to the... The gaming on the PS2. And why it wasn't as, um... What's the word? I didn't have as many games on that because of that. You know? It would always be like second-hand games I could try to get my mittens on growing up. But the PlayStation 1, I remember, because at the point at that point in time, my brothers were still playing video games a lot, so they had a hacked PS1, and I would go to my corner shop to buy, like, PS1 games for, like, £4 or something. Water Pulse? Oh, sick. 6100. Uh, he's not a special attacker, but it's got to be better than this, right? Yeah, it's better than this. And it helped that I had some friends as well that I could uh, borrow some video games off, you know? Um, what's this way? Check this way first. No, I got a feeling like this is the way of the way. I want to go this way first. Hey, Rainer, welcome in. Appreciate the look. I hope you're good. I should. Actually, I should. I traded my empty bottle. I think Spec gave me a filled one. Yes, she did. Look at that. That's much better. Thank you. <clears throat> Chop it. Bump, 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 bump. You got eyes and kitty? Oh. I wonder where he is. Probably asleep now, I guess. I played so much with the, the, the kitten today. He's so full of energy now. And his naps are nowhere near as frequent. Have you noticed that, Spec? Dig a hole. See what I mean? Completely inappropriate behavior and talk towards children. Jeff. Tangling hair. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know I had that. Are you going to send out another Diglett, my friend? Yeah, okay.
what life must be like for the NPCs in this like universe, you know? To have the same Pokemon a couple of times or three times or whatever. Like having three cats? Yeah, but wouldn't you want three different motherfucking cats, you know? I still think, like, I had this idea when I was really young. I would have really liked it if Pokemon had this thing where there was variables in the... Like, with a bunch of different physical factors to do with the Pokemon. So, for example, with Pikachu, have different tufts of hair on its head. Like, different types of, like, spiky hair. Or, like, bangs or whatever. Like, very, very subtle differences, right? And then maybe the distances between the eyes, the size of the eyes, the color of the eyes. Um, maybe, like, how open, how close they are. The nose placement, the overall, like, um, proportions of, like, the head to the body to the feet. And then, like, just let all that stuff just be randomized when you find a Pokemon. And even though it'll be really subtle, everyone's Pokemon will look a little bit different, you know? Oh, Like the what Pokemon? The bunny? What, what's that have to do with the bunny one? Oh, you mean Spinder? Yeah, yeah, the Spinder has like the spots, and the spots can be in a different location. Yeah, sometimes they do in the anime, yeah. Um, is this thing weak to fighting? I know it's flying, so probably not, right? It's part rock, I think. Maybe it's just normal. Nope, never mind. It's not effective. Uh, closest thing we get, uh, we got worse Spinder, yep. And the Gen 5 flying bug. Oh, which, uh, which one was the Gen 5 flying bug? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. The one with the different patterns on it. I went to all the effort of getting the different patterns for that. <clears throat> for the living decks. The Spinder thing is kind of nuts, because that one is, like, excessively so, and I don't know if it's worth it. It's cool, but it is just, you know, where the spots align. But I don't know how many combinations they are. It's in the millions or whatever. Like, potentially. Nope. What is that hole here, though? Is that just decorative? I guess it is. I just think it would be a really neat idea to kind of differentiate everyone's Pokemon, you know? So, I, Pokemon has gotten to the point where I don't know if they could do anything like that anymore, given with just how many Pokemon that they are. I really feel like it's a, a blessing and a curse. More of a curse. Because if you're going to do anything to, like one Pokemon to, like, expand it in some kind of way. By minimum, you have to do that with so many other Pokemon. Like, you think about, um, Mega Revolutions or Gigantamax, Dynamax, whatever. You kind of get away and acceptable with not being able to do it to everyone and doing, like, a generic one for some of them. But if you wanted to do something on, like, the base level of how these Pokemon differentiate themselves, there's just so fucking many of them. I think we're well over 1,200 Pokemon at, at this point in time. They'd have to start using AI to get the this much work, and no one wants that. Yeah, you're not wrong. Just when things were starting to heat up, yo, I got surrounded by Diglett and beat up, yo. Yo, since when can Diglett use beat up? I'm so mad that now I want to beat up on some fools. Don't be mad, because you were the fool who was dumb enough to be here right now. As a token. Ooh, uh, ow, oh, ow, hang on, how am I pronouncing that? Ew, ow, ow, oh, ow, oh. I was wondering who you were playing around with without me, and it's Team Skull. You want some? That's how we say hello. Nice knowing you, punks. Fucking love Team Skull. What a lovely band of antagonists. Look at them. Uh, is your dog an item finder? That he is, Deacon. That he is. Although I did, I do miss like in the old like X and Y, whatever. You would have those two little metal rods out or whatever, and you just walk around with them. The animation was kind of cute. Um, what can I karate chop? Oh, it's not effective against either of them. I guess they're dark. Give me some wind then in it. 
What a, a, what a lovely band of chuckle fucks. At least they wear the mask properly. Ao, you're totally right, Deacon. You're totally right. They got one thing right. I forgot that How got an Eevee. What does he turn that Eevee into? Oh wait, can I just use this? Shall we just do it? Why not? Um, yeah, that one. Here we go. I like the fact that they uh, thought of creative ways to move away from using tools and HMs uh, by going through the menus or by, you know, sacrificing a move slot in your Pokemon's list, trying to make it more unified and quality of life. I do think that that's something that they have improved vastly from each one of the games in terms of just being able to access it quicker. And I'm pretty sure this was the game, um, at least it wasn't Pokemon Sun, where you could use Machamp to use Strength, I think it was, and like he would he would dedicate two of his arms to just holding you, and his other two arms to moving stuff, and it looks incredible. Are we headed to the grave, yo? Will our bones be laid bare, yo? The gloom that enfolds us like fog. We can't seem to shake it off. Throw back to yellow. Maybe he evolves it uh, to different things depending on your choices. That'd be kind of sick. We evolved our Eevee to Umbreon. Yo, step off. Enough with the beating up, yo. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing. We hang on. We may not be trying to take over the world or nothing, but we're still hard as born out here. I like that. Acknowledging the kind of, you know, small fry. When I fight with you, it's like even my Pokemon feel more at ease. You really are some kind of trainer. That's it. I've just got to give you something. He's such a nice guy. He's not... I, I, I can't classify this generation of rival as a rival, you know? I think terminology-wise, we should probably keep calling it rival so everyone knows what we're banging on about. But he's not a rival, is he? He's just a chum. He's just pow. He's just how. Uh, in yellow, your rival changes it depending on whether you beat him in certain fights. I didn't actually remember that at all, Deacon. That rings a bell, but I didn't remember that. Did they carry that across in, like, Let's Go Pikachu or anything like that? I never played that to completion. Oh, a trial go, Pork Trainer, uh, I see. Luka is my name. I travel the world, and many lands do I visit for my own private reasons. Alola is a nice place and so very peaceful. Most ideal for a vacancy. I was just in Konikoni City where I got a most unusual stone at Miss Olivia's shop. No one here is so terrible as to try to create a new world or liberate all the Pokemon from their trainers. Yes, peaceful indeed. Thus, though concerns I have about those reported sightings of the infamous Pokemon Mafia. Ah, forgive me for keeping you. I will give you this Thunderstone if you forgive my rudeness. Hell yeah, I bought three without thinking. <laughs> she is look <looker. laughs> Do have a, a good adventure, my trial going young friend. Peace out, blood. I never played Let's Go, so I couldn't say gotcha. I was very excited for Let's Go. Did not click with it as much as I would like to. I'm going to save it, and I'm going to attempt to evolve my Pikachu and see what happens. Pikachu. What? Pikachu is evolving? Oh, the music's very different. Why is the music so different? Hey, there she is. We got a little on right to look at that. It's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Look at it.
we've got a single page done. When you rub its cheeks, a sweet fragrance comes wafting out. However, you'll also get a light shock. Aww. It's electric psychic. What do you want to learn, buddy? What do you want to learn? You want to learn psychic? Yeah, you do. All right, let's see what we can replace. Um, do I need this much thundering going on? Here is a, basically a special attacker. Charge beam is what? 1590. And it's special. Spark is 65. Ah, but it's physical. I'll just get rid of double team. <clears throat> I'm not planning to do any PvP. Don't leave Azu alone with that right you. What are you talking about? I'll take good care of it. I pinched those cheeks for all the worth. Gotta concentrate later. Oh, I'm sorry, Stumpin. I hope it goes well, though, buddy. Kirk, when was the last Pokemon game you've played? Hmm? Same question to Deacon as well. I'm curious. I think you mentioned you haven't been playing for a long time, right? Ish, no. That's a cleft key on the wall. D, D, something wrong? Ditto. What? Oh, look, it's a ditto. What do you mean? A wild one appeared? What do you mean a wild one appeared? Um. Yeah, I don't want to kill it. That's good. I do not remember this happening um, in the original. Cheeks! Gold, silver, crystal got you. Aside from maybe a few minutes here and there on a friend's devices, just to see the art style of newer ones over the years. I feel you. That is quite some time ago, Deacon. I uh, haven't played since Ruby, I think. Like, original Ruby or the remix? That's also a kind of while ago. Original Ruby was um, Game Boy Advance. Original, damn. It transforms into whatever it sees. If the thing it's transforming into isn't right in front of it, Ditto relies on its memory, so sometimes it fails. Those kind of tidbits I love. All right, well, we know why we're sticking this Ditto. A Ditto was disguised as my partner? Are the Ditto 5 responsible for... What do you mean, Ditto 5? The Ditto 5 love humans so much that they transform into humans. They are very troublesome. They mean no harm, but they mess up people's relationships, so they are registered as wanted Pokemon. But where in the world did my partner go? By any chance, did Ditto... Sorry, uh, I had a cold and was in bed for a while. Cough, cough. Thank you for finding out that Ditto was disguised as my partner. Take this as thanks. Oh my god. Lately in Connie Connie City, there are sightings of people who might actually be Ditto. I'm investigating these cases. I don't remember this in original Pokemon Sun at all. You found out my partner was actually a Ditto. It would be reassuring if I could get sorry, if I could get your help. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Let me catch four more. I know a perfect place to put those Dittos to work. Defeat or catch the Ditto. Either way, please report it to me. Holy cow. It's an amazing Pokemon. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yo, you all got a Pokemon. So you've all got a Ditto for the day. What are you getting it to transform into? Hmm? What are you doing with that Ditto of yours? Uh, just felt it was the same game I had been playing since Red, Blue, Yellow, Silver, Gold. That's absolutely fair, Kirk. I feel like the progression of Pokemon games, um, casually playing them, is no different from, like, casually playing a Dynasty or Warriors game, you know? The way that they kind of stay the same, basically. Like, fundamentally, even, like, retelling the same story, more or less. I'm basically 100 years old, so I can't keep up with <laughs> with you kids and your Nintendos <laughs> anymore. And gave up after 2000 or so. I'm, I understand, Deacon. I, I'm thinking about giving up sometime soon as well, my friend. Just, just hang up the hat. And just play Tetris for the rest of my being. 
This has some weird implications. Oh, I'm there. I'm there, cultist. I'm embracing those um, implications. Hey, Twist. Good morning. How are you doing? Twist, serious question. You've got a ditto, yeah? What are you, what are you telling your ditto to transform into? Look at this guy. Go on then, Haruki. What do you got? Oh, heard you. Okay. Herdy is alright. I like the Herdy line. Plop. In real life or in the Pokemon world? Uh, I guess both then? I didn't think there would be a difference per se, right? I, I assume in real life is what I was going for though. As in like... There's no point telling you to transform into another Pokemon. It'll be temporary, you know? I guess you could pretend to have an Arcanine for a bit, but then you could just go out and get an Arcanine. Ooh, look at this patch of grass. Ooh. Ooh, look at this one. Uh, fish. Netball. Love netballs. Yeah, I should probably save it because I feel like there's a bunch of graphical hitches happening around me and I'm kind of worried. Uh, let me switch Pokemon to something with electricity. When does Charger Bug evolve? I keep repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is a fisherman? Mike. Oh, what kind of Pokeball did he have? That was cool. Was that a lower ball? Oh, this thing is part electric, I think. Uh, in Pokemon, Snorlax would make a great bed. Oh, hell yeah. In real life, a monkey for a monkey but Butler? Bolter? <laughs> can I tell a Ditto to transform into food and then eat it? Yes, Purbot, you can. You just got to make sure that it transforms accordingly as it's been digested. Because if it transforms back after you've ate it, I think complications will arise. You know what I mean? The guests go all in. <laughs> Why that more dinner? What are you talking about? It's fine. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, which one did I want to use? Charge beam, maybe. Oh shit! Uh oh, spec. Can you pass me my tablet? It's time. Unless it's coming with the upset. Thank you so much for the redeem, Alessa. Let me go and grab my graphics tablet and pull up my Photoshop file. Let me take off the redeem so we're not in any rush here. I'm going to take my time. Thank you. Alessa has put it to 19,500, which means we are, what, two redeems away? Oh, boy, we are getting there. We are absolutely getting there. Y'all don't mind this music in the background while I'm drawing, right? <laughs> We do, someone needs to call Jed's, yeah. Does anyone have Jed's number? Let me just save a blank out first. Let me get up to... A, I think this is the first time Alessa. Yeah, I don't have an Alessa on here already, so let me make a new layer for you. <clears throat> Oop, my keyboard is off. This is a good timing as well because the kitten, wherever he is, is asleep somewhere. He's not bothering me. Oh. Uh, let me just go and turn off the redeem on the um, Twitch end so I'm not in any rush. 
19,500 save and off disable there we go and as soon as this um i i draw this out for you and make it save out sorry i'll start a timer for 15 minutes once i've done writing it oh yeah i'll take a break soon and have a look for him as well he's probably just sleeping underneath the couch again His voice is tiny, but he's pretty vocal when he wants to be. I think he's fine wherever he is. All right, sorry, I'm just moving my um, my chat over to the other screen so I can share what I'm doing. Pog! <laughs> you should join the uh, five-year debate uh, our D&D &D group has on whether you can harvest meat from a wild-shaped druid. Huh. What's the consensus on that? Uh, let's see. Can you see this? I don't think you can, right? Let me switch my overlay. Oh, what now? There we go. Okay. We'll just be in darkness for a moment. Let me just pipe out the music for you. There we go. We take our time. It's just me, you, this dark room, and a graphics tablet. It's very intimate. No, Roshan, said, no, absolutely not. I'll, I'll take my sweet time doing this for you, Lesser. But we're doing this now. I don't even know how Mug Ruler works, but I had the points. Excellent. So the Mug Ruler, when someone redeems it, uh, they take over. They become the new ruler of the mug. The last redeem is 20,000. And as soon as the last person takes that redeem, it's all over. As in that mug is, is going to be retired. Um, the person's name will stay on the mug for a week. And then I'll make an emote out of that mug with their name on it forever in the Discord. Just say hi for me. I will do twist. <laughs> There's no consensus. We have like five different answers and everyone strongly believes one of those five is interesting. I live in darkness, no problem. Sick. All right, let me just see if my tablet is on properly. I'm at a bit of an angle at the moment. Um, my tablet is not working, which is very frustrating. So I need to go into services. Give me a second. Papa. Every now and then my graphics tablet driver won't work. He's a hot tip. If you pull up your services... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hang on. If you pull up your services and you find um, Wacom in the list of stuff and you just uh, right-click on it and go to uh, restart, it usually refreshes the driver without having to restart your whole system. Oh, where's my thing? There we go. But now... Hey, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, and usually when this happens, you have to close Photoshop and open it up again for um, pressure sensitivity. But because of the nature of me writing this down as if I'm doing it like a pen, right? There's no pressure sensitivity. I'm just writing it in like almost one take. There's a little bit of a delay for the first line that I do. You see how the first one comes off a bit strange when I'm trying to do a perfect circle? You see that? Like right there. <laughs> but we'll live. All right. We go on, let me just rotate this bad boy. Right. A lesser. Then we have the on fire. Hang on. I want the ore to be here. And I want the fire to be over here. There we go. And then we need actual fire. Like, what are we doing? So, hang on. Let me move this around a little bit. There we go. Maybe the bottom one I don't like as much. Hang on. Oh, delete. There we go. Yeah, something like that. Um, 
That's a lot of lesser, and there's a lot of fire in there. Yeah, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. I'll just be finicky with it a little bit more. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, straighten that up. Uh, I'll move it up a tiny bit. Yeah. Okay, save the file, and then I have a shortcut saved. Uh, here it is. And as soon as I hit this button, the mug should have updated. So let's head back. Hey, there it is. My mouth seems to be stuck. Do you see that? I spec, my mouth is stuck. <laughs> my mouth is stuck. <laughs> Hang on, I can fix it, I can fix it, I can fix it. Don't, don't adjust your TVs, I'll fix it. No, that's not gonna work! That's not gonna help! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm so surprised. Hang on, 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 hang on. There, 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 I fixed it. I fixed it. Mouth is good again. <laughs> uh, Spec, can you make a timer for 15? Thank you. Bum, 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 bum. Thanks again, Alessa. Really appreciate it. We are so close to retiring this mug. I think this mug has been like um, one of the shortest turnarounds that I've had for Mug King. Uh, let me just put the audio back on. Uh, for Mug Ruler, sorry. What's the timer for? Oh, so the timer, uh, you should have at least 15 minutes of uninterrupted uh, Mug Ruler time before the Redeem goes back up. It's built into the Redeem itself, but if I haven't drawn your name up before, I'd like to just stop the timer completely so I can take my time so there's no rush. Because usually if I already have your name, it's just a case of me just flipping a layer on and then saving it out and then the 15 minutes starts. <laughs> Yeah, so as soon as the 15 minutes is up, the timing goes up again, but the mug will be more expensive. It's going to be 19,500 now. So the mug gets 500 points more expensive every time. Uh, and it's going to get real tense towards the end, because as soon as someone redeems the 19,500, we are literally one redeem away for it being over. Where's my controller? Anyone see where I put my controller? I found it. We're good. I fully expect um, it will be done and dusted probably by tomorrow when I'm streaming with Haley, which might be a bit rough because um, a week ago when I was streaming on Wednesday with Haley, we were doing Gears of War, which we're going to be continuing tomorrow. Um, my laptop blue screened during that and OBS completely freaked the fuck out. Luckily since then, like even now I'm using my laptop to play this game and to stream. It seems like it's going fine. But I am a little bit nervous about streaming tomorrow again. Luckily, I don't think um, Giza War will take a full stream tomorrow to finish off, because I think we're over halfway. But it's one of those reasons why, generally speaking, I don't like streaming on my laptop. Like, sorry, I don't like playing on my laptop and streaming from it at the same time. Where are we? Ah, okay. Is this where I need to go? What's the other way? I shall bask in the glory of the mug limelight while I can. Enjoy it. You've earned it. It is yours. No one can take away this moment from you. Oh, it looks like I have to go this way. There might be a Pokemon Center in here, though. I would like to heal. Someone let the nose pass. Huh? Huh? Yeah, so Delibird, I never minded Delibird before, but I think I mentioned this before. Not a huge fan of the fact that that bag that he's carrying around is its tail, you know? It's like it's, it's attached. Uh, Lomi Lomi is a style of massage we practice here in Alola. How about a treatment for your Pokemon? Oh, the Pokemon? I thought it was for me. It will make them feel more friendly towards you. 
What do you say? Can I do a little lommy lommy on that Raichu you have there? Sure. Then allow me just to take Raichu there for a moment. There we go. I think this session was a good start. It's feeling a bit more friendly towards you already, I'd say. I got in a spat with a Trumbeak while traveling, but now we're close. We're closer than ever. So we're gonna take a photo together at Lola Photo Club. They really want me to take photos in this game. I don't wanna. What are you selling? Kind of shock, aerial ace, low sweep, steel wing, bulldoze. I think these are good. Steel wing, I know, is pretty good. I'll take one of these. On this side. <gasps> clothes! Um, clothes. I can't believe they made surfing Raichu a special variant since surfing Pikachu Raichu have existed since Gen 1. Yeah, though I, I'd say that the, the, the kind of surfing Pikachu was like an exclusive thing to Pokemon Yellow, wasn't it? It wasn't a thing you could really do outside of that particular Pikachu. Alright, what are you selling? Alright, we've got Athletic Tank Top. Ooh. Love Disc, uh-huh. Leper. Chatot. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nah, not really into the tanky tops, I'll be honest. Oh, these aren't bad, though. Ooh. Ooh, you know? Spec, what do you think of this? I kind of like it. I'll buy it. No socks. That's fine. Oh, we have some trainers here. Some sporty trainers. Ah, the green doesn't quite match. The blue doesn't match. Ah, uh, the gray could be a neutral one, I guess. Uh, what do we have for bag? Not a huge fan of the bag. Ooh, but that green is just right, though, isn't it? I would like it to be blue, though. Ooh, grey's not bad. Oh, we might have to fuck with one of these caps. The difference between this? Where's the green, exactly? Oh, I see. It's like the tiny bit on, like, the, uh, the flappy bit. Ooh, that's nice. Nah. They don't call out to me. There we go. Oh, I feel so trendy. Uh, who won the last mug? The the British twist. The the last three mugs were all detained via the British. I think um, Adam got the second one. I think. Jordy got the first one, I think. It was Jordy who got the first one. Adam got the second one. Stumpin took the third one. Yeah. yeah. So three British fellas. Which honestly at this point is unacceptable. <laughs> hey, Jeds. <laughs> Jeds is here. Oh, thank you. So, whoever called Jeds, thank you. <laughs> Come on, the Brits. <laughs> oh, God. You got Surf and Pikachu by using your yellow cartridge to beat Stadium on the 64, but it was legal on all cards. A gold, silver, crystal had special sprites for Surf and Pikachu too. That's awesome. Or you just use Game Shark. <laughs> I never had a Game Shark or anything of the equivalent, I think, when I was younger. But I remember on the PlayStation 1, my friend had one um, that was like, it looked like a memory card that you plugged into the PlayStation. Yo, Cheese, welcome in, buddy. Thank you so much for the 30 stream streak. Much appreciated, man. Welcome in. It's good to see you. I'll get this one and then and make it four in a row. There you go, Twist. That's the spirit. Uh, why can't I see the mug redeem anymore? It's been temporarily um, turned off to give the full 15 minutes of allotted time for Alessa because it was a new written uh, layer that I hadn't had prepared. <clears throat> It'll be back up as soon as Spec gives me the green light. In seven minutes, she's saying. Yeah, it just got redeemed a moment ago. There you go. 
Uh, no, it's 19,500. So whoever hits the next one will make the 20k become a reality. We'll make the final for <laughs> team pop up. <laughs> oh, I should. Sorry, I need to. I'm getting distracted. I need to talk to everyone in here to make sure that there's nothing that people want to trade or something. Go through this quickly. How you doing, Jeds? And how you doing, Cheese? I hope you're both well. Oh, this is an interesting idea. Hang on, hang on. What happens to a Pokemon's consciousness when it's been put into a PC box? To be conscious, you must be awake and aware of the world around you, wouldn't you say? But are Pokemon awake when they are in a PC box or are they sleeping? I wish I could go into a box to find out. Very interesting idea. Sure, what do you need? Hoot hoot. Yeah, yeah. Do I have a hoot hoot? I guess I don't. Cool. I'm doing alright. I'm having some issues with stomach acid at the moment, which um, I'm not happy about. Uh, it's calmed down somewhat right now, though, so I'm doing okay at the moment, dude. I am already had a midday nap. A Having super late lunch now. Enjoy, cheese. Damn, that's sort of dark for Pokemon. Pokemon gets very dark to us. I feel like they always present some really cool ideas and notions. They don't always see it through, but I appreciate that they still present those ideas, you know? Like, I feel like Pokemon Black and White probably presented the most in that kind of way about talking about the, um, the morality of forcing these Pokemon to fight one another. No pass! The Pokemon is holding a letter. You take the letter and read it. Olivia here. This is Probopass. It watches the shop whenever I'm away. I know I asked you to meet me here, but there's been a change of plans. Come meet me at the Ruins of Life past Memorial Hill when you can. Alright. Oh, is he coming back? Pass? Medicine? That's for me? Sick. Pass, pass. Ooh, I like this store. This is cute. Anything interesting here? Still doesn't have a boyfriend? Oh, I'm, I'm glad we, we learned that from you. What do you want? Ooh. Only one per customer. Um, I assume these are fossils that will turn into something. Can we pull up a list? Holding with what hands? I bet it has up its massive nose. Don't think I ever asked as. Do you have a favorite Pokemon type? I, hmm. I'd, I'd probably lean Ghost, just because I think, if we're talking like, you know, typing in general, I think, across the board, Ghost-type Pokemon have the coolest designs, in my opinion. Um, Pokemon... Ultra Moon... Fossils... Olivia Shop Fossils, is that what I'm looking for? I think it was a limit of one per customer. Yeah, skull fossil, plume fossil, helix fossil. Let me just share my screen. And... Yes, I'm just looking at what these fossils give you. Some of these ring a bell to me, like a dome fossil is probably um, Kabuto. Does that tell me? Oh, it depends on the generation. Confused. Oh, here we go. I'm guessing, depending on which one we decide to go with, we get one of these fellas. Um, I don't need any of these for my living decks, so I don't think it particularly matters which one I go for. Now, I am kind of partial for the, uh, the little T-Rex buddy at the bottom right. How about you, cultist? Oh yeah, I was lurking yesterday. I forgot to mention, Cultist. I was lurking yesterday while you're doing Fusion. That game looks wild, man. 
Ghost Boys, yeah! <laughs> Fusions was great. Uh, had some fun abominations. Yeah, that looks so cool. I have plans, oh no. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear people's opinions on the typing. If people have a favorite type and for what reason. Uh, let's see. What? What options do we have? Steel fossil, wood fossil, dome fossil, armor fossil, plume fossil. Five Pokemon. Oh, I get it. We're either on the top one or the bottom one, right? So I'm, I'm guessing we're in the bottom half because Dome, we have Dome and that's Kabuto. Armor, I assume is Shield on. Bloom, I'm not sure with maybe the fl the flowery one, I've got its name. Root, or maybe the Root is that one. Sail. So what is the T-Rex one? Maybe Root? Hmm. Um, here we go, um, what are the fossil Pokemon? No, I know what the fossils are not. Here we go. Uh, Sail is Amora. Jaw is Tyrant. We don't have that one. Maybe I'll go with Amora then. Yeah, screw it. Doesn't really matter. Seventh, uh, fine, fine. Uh, I have to start on some gardening while the weather is somewhat tame. Thank you all for the chill time. I'll see you later. Have a good one, Alessa. Thank you so much for bopping by and spending time with us and for redeeming the mug. Fusions is the most enjoyable Pokemon in years. Oh, we just finished? Okay, let me slap that on. Oh, that's an expensive bloody mug now, isn't it? Good lord. Pokemon Infinite Fusion seems quite cool. It's one um, I'd maybe be interested in trying out just for the silly combinations. I'm kind of with you, Purbot. I love the idea of it, and I love being exposed to it and seeing it around. I think for my time with Pokemon right now, I any time I dedicate a Pokemon, I just want to try to work towards my living decks. So not in the cards for me in the immediate future, but it is definitely a really cool idea. I'd like to see more of. What's up here? Ooh. Never been a huge fan of these Pokemon. Ooh, stick it. Oh, that one's not a Pokemon. Turn to the right, Sarah. Wave goodbye. Wave goodbye. Bye bye. Okay, you didn't like that. Um, turn to the right. Oh, you're doing the same thing. Then to the left. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to turn to the left again. Well, you enjoyed it the second time, too. Stare at it. Oh, yeah, yeah, like that. Definitely not a cat. Uh, peekaboo. Yep, mm-hmm. Um, wave goodbye. Peace out, buddy. Enjoy my mug, beware of fire. <laughs> uh, ghost dark for me, cause edgy in it. Absolutely. Full of edge. I'm just not someone at all interested in Pokemon gameplay wise. I can see that. Maybe I will at some point. It, for me, a lot of it is nostalgia. I'll be honest. I, 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 I'm all in on the gimmick. I also like the fact that it's a bit of a... Um, maybe detox is not the right word, but there's something kind of calming and relaxing for me compared to the other kind of games that I generally play. Somewhat somewhat wholesome, uh, maybe, is what I'm going with. Could it be? That Z ring glistening on your arm. That must mean you can use Z moves. Am I right? Ah, this is destiny. A gift. From heavens. Please, you gotta help me with your full power. 
Absol oh shit, that didn't take long. Yo, Jeds is in there. Holy shit, Jeds. Whoa, brother. Hang on, hang on. It's all gone to hell. <laughs> okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just make this more expensive first. One, two, three, because I already have that up. Let me pull up my Photoshop. I don't even know why I closed it. Why would I even close it? I can't believe you're doing this to us, Jeds. I can't believe this is happening. Jeds, you know what you've done, right? You know what you've started. Okay, let me quickly go and find a Jeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah for Jeds. There we go. Go to the play button. Oh, there we go. It's done. And I will keep my Photoshop file open. I think Jed's yours is one of the first names that I did. One of the cleanest ones that I did, in my opinion. I was waiting for that Jed's shit. I gotta change my mouse batteries. <laughs> All right, well, get um, get refreshing, people. We've got 15 minutes or so. Uh, let me double check. What is the cooldown? Yeah, it is. It's 15 minutes. Jeds. Jeds did it. I I assume Jeds is going to double it. 15. 15. 1, 5. Hey, Bok. Welcome, Bok. How are you doing, Bok? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, Jeds can still take it. As soon as the redeem appears, ag uh, appears again, anyone can retake it. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe we're here already. This is gonna be wild. The current ones are not ready for the vigorous finger blasting that's coming. <laughs> I'm doing good things. That's good, Bok. Sorry, you just walked in in the middle of a, a mug war that's happening. How do you feel about mugs, Bok? And do you have like 20,000 points lying around <laughs> anywhere that you're willing to part with? <laughs> I'm too afraid to confess my feelings for her. I don't have the courage, but I feel like if I see a Zed move, it would inspire me to go all out on myself. Please, you've got to help me find true love and happiness. Sure, yeah, let's do it. Fantastic, don't hold back. Show me those Zed moves to your heart's content. Oh, he wants to fight? Oh. I'm just a wee bit short, sadly. Oh, it's, it's all good, don't worry about it. Next time, Twist. I mean, sorry, next time, uh, Bok. Uh, how do you feel about mugs and finger blasting? Yeah, sorry, that's the real question here. Clam pearl, never been a fan. Never been a fan. Is it gonna be? Is it water? Sure, go for it. This is a good time to do it, I guess. The fuck is that? Bollocks. What that? What that? Both agree. There you go. Box into finger blasting and mugs. Oh, I don't think I Zed moved. Shit. I want to see you and your Pokemon go all out. I'm going to keep asking until you show me what I want. Oh, fuck. Sorry, mate. I completely botched that up. Um, Can I give my Pokemon a move? Do we have an electric one? Oh, we definitely don't. Um, holding. Okay, so I guess... I guess, uh... Char is going to have to deal with it. The motherfucker, you want to do it tomorrow? Twat. Uh, no, I don't want to go back in here. Right, um, which way do I need to do? I think I need to go back the way I came. My Pokemon heal okay? Yeah, we're fine. Oh no, not the tofu. <laughs> Apparently it didn't last long. Regal tofu. Damn, look at the handsome tofu of a man. Wah! Big fan of the Wario one. The Wario one's popped up quite a lot these days. 
It makes me wonder how random the randomizer really is, you know? Okay, that's fine. Oh, we should probably check around here for some stuff. Seems somewhat disrespectful, I'm just saying though. See, look, the stuff on the ground. Not enough space? Okay, well. The big grave. Interesting little transition they got here at the very tippy end of these things to make it look like it's kind of like uh, wiltering away. I wonder why they went to the effort to do that. It's a, it's a neat effect, but I don't think it really... I don't really think it adds anything. I guess maybe just variation. It's Liam! Oh, by the way, since I brought it up as well, I'd like to know everyone's PlayStation 2 video game recommendations. If I'm going to be doing PlayStation 2 games in my rotation uh, on a weekly basis of just playing something nostalgic, or just old school, I'd like to know what people uh, recommend trying out. Maybe because it's a grave, potentially? Yakuza 1 and 2, I'm kidding, yeah. If I'm doing Yakuza, I'm doing 3, 4, 5. But I might do them offline. Um, I kind of, I get kind of sucked into Yakuza games and I get really into the story and I, and I want to like absorb everything. Ledian, Ledian, Ledian sounds like a bug. Sounds like a flying bug actually. Bug on Bug of Islands, let's go. The Ratchet and Clank games are pretty solid fun. I need to do the PS5 Ratchet and Clank. I really like the reboot PS4 one. And those aren't terribly long games either, so yeah, those are a good shout. Um, charge. Fucking love Shadow of the Colossus Twist. I recently... Oh, hey, Haley, welcome in. I recently did all of the Eco trilogy. So I played um, Eco. I played Shadow of the Colossus twice. I played the PS3 version, which is based on the PS2 version. And I played um, the PS4 version. And then I went to Last Guardian. A lot of fun. Crash Team Racing. Yeah, I never played much of that. Oh, wait. Crash Tag Racing? Is that different? Tag team, sorry. Crash tag team. I get you. I could never play a Yakuza game with someone or on stream. I, mm, unless I'm revisiting it, I can't. Why am I failing to hurt this thing? By the way, I'm not paying full attention. Let me watch what I'm doing. Oh, it's because he's been a twat, isn't he? Fucking hit him. Oh, wait, I'm using the wrong move. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm, be I'm, I'm the twat. Sorry. Sorry. My bad. I make it better now. There we go. We fixed it. How you doing, Haley? It's good to see you. I have such an emotional attachment to them. Are the Yakuza games? I yeah, I can see why. I got really into Yakuza when I finally got into it. Um, maybe a few years before I started streaming. I played Zero and I went right into Kiwami 1, into Kiwami 2, and I just fucking gobbled those games up. The PS5 one is fantastic, pretty short, but very fun. I saw Haley play a tiny bit of it, and it seemed like a lovely evolution um, of the first one while showing off some of the capabilities of the fast-loading PS5 hard drive. Uh, from me, it's Rogue Galaxy and Shadow Hearts. Yeah, Shadow Hearts is a good shout too. I was watching uh, Rune do the precursor JRPG to Shadow Hearts. Um, I forgot the name of it. It was like, it's not Delilah, but it sounds like Delilah, De De Delka. Delpha Delelica Mug 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 Oh Tulls is in here too Shit Not another British person <laughs> How you doing Tulls Good to see you man <laughs> Oh my god I'm actually kind of nervous To see what happens With this mug <clears throat> For those who have just joined Or maybe don't know The mug is on its last 20,000 redeem And it's probably Mere minutes away From being redeemable I, want, I just want to put it out there for uh, Stumpin' Adam, uh, Stumpin', Adam, and 
Jordy, if they're around at all. If they redeem it, they will not get a new Mug ruler final. They will just delay it. It has to be a new ruler ultimately in the end. I, I stand by that decision. Let's just fucking do this. I'm here purely for the bug. Don't lie to me, Tulls. I know you fucking love Pokemon. Uh, revisits and completion uh, completion list would be fine. But doing story? No, yeah. I'm with you, Purbot. At least if I do it, Purbot, it would be a little bit different from how I do other video games where I would make it a point where I personally would shut the fuck up and only watch the cutscene while it's happening. Um, and then maybe try to catch up with chat post that. But then I'd worry that I'm like, what's the word? I'd worry too much that I'd be pausing a bit too much in between story beats. But we'll see. I, I, I need to think about it more. But for now, if I'm going to do Yakuza, I'm probably going to do it offline. Yakuza 1's English dub would be fun to play through. I guess I haven't really played the original ones that the, the, the Kiwami ones are based on fun. We could do that. Bounce. What is bounce? Use the bounce up high, then drops in the target in the second turn. This may also leave the target with paralysis. Oh, that's kind of sick. Um, Aerial Ace is a good one. I guess I don't really use Roost. And Flying Press, 100 physical, 50. Ah, but it's like... I'll get rid of Roost. We're good. Uh, I was about to say you need to play Kingdom Hearts. Then remembered that <laughs> you remembered I'm knee deep in it. Twist. <laughs> it's very funny. I'd like to check it out, just to see how much has changed. I guess. Bone Meringue. Oh yes, please. That sounds good. Fifty ninety, and it's physical. Get rid of Focus Energy. I'm never going to use that. A part of me wants to stream Yakuza, but I just know I'm going to miss some plot. I don't want to miss. There's so much plot in it too, Haley. You know. I'm kind of with you. I really enjoy absorbing it. A bit like a soap opera. I don't know. I have 10k of points for anyone who doesn't redeem it. <laughs> There's YouTube videos with Yakuza 1's dub overlaid with Kiwami graphics. They line up almost perfectly if you're just interested in the dub. Oh, that's kind of sick. I'm glad they went to the effort, you know? Because I'm sure even if it is not a great dub, it's definitely off its time, you know? And I'm sure it still made plenty of fans off the series back then. Oh, you can talk to him from here. Huh. I'll go through here. There's an item back here. The Kiwami remix are very faithful. That's awesome to hear. Yo, it's Phantom! I'm doing alright, Tulls. Um, I was just I was saying to people that I've had a bit of an issue with stomach acid these days. Uh, but right now, in this moment of time, with me and you communicating and locking eyes together, it's absolutely fine. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Cap. Welcome in. How are you doing, Cap? Shit. I kind of, I kind of blanked out and I just went for, like, a strong attack. I, mm-hmm. I love Phantom too. Big fan. The shiny Phantom is so fucking good. Let's see if we can find another one. Very busy day with work. I'm sorry, man. So I am in the... Um, I don't know if I'm in the minority who thinks that I'd like... Depending on how busy it is. I I get very frustrated if work is one too busy. People. Or I get very frustrated if work is not busy enough. Spec, did you just do a text-to-speech one minute, people? <laughs> You're making me nervous when you're hyping it up like this. <laughs> 48 seconds, oh god. Hey, another phantom. Jed's resi, your blasty finger. <laughs> Alright, we don't want to kill it. Oh, I see. I have no choice but to kill it. Can we just throw a ball? What's the chances it'll just stay in the ball? Here you go, he's a ball. <clears throat> I do have a quick ball, but I don't think it would match the colors, you know? And if we're not matching colors, what is the point? Yeah, okay. Let me go and see if I can switch to something else. Uh, what Pokemon would not destroy you? I think Raichu's... 
Hmm. Spark would be good. Oh shit! <gasps> oh no! The British have done it again! The British have done it again! No! Yo 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 yo! Twelve eighty six is now the mug ruler. How? <laughs> this. Oh, hang on. How's the how's the quote go? How's the quote? The the the, the thirst for vengeance. Ooh! <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, well, need to go and disable that bad boy. Jeds, I'm so sorry, brother. I'm so sorry, man. I I really felt like this was your time. I felt like this was the one. Tully, congratulations. You are officially the Mug Ruler. The fourth edition Mug Ruler. It is yours. You take good care of it. It's made out of paper, this one. It's a bit more vulnerable than the other ones. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Connect four bitches. <laughs> the next mug will be Jed shit, and people can plaster the names on top. Stop it, spec. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Rainer. Sorry, Rainer. Sometimes a cat does. Sometimes a cat doesn't. Oh my god. I didn't realize the button goes up slightly when the countdown is done. Lol. Oh, does it? Fuck, man. My hand completely just slid away from the redeem button when it became available. No! Oh. Y'all need quick quick fingers like our Tully here, you know? The command didn't even show up for me again. The Brits have the internet advantage. <laughs> I don't know, Jets. I feel like we might be closer together, geographically speaking, compared to the Brits. I'm not 100% sure of that, though. Who knows? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, Jets. Congratulations, Tolls. And I'm sorry for anyone else who tried their hand at it. It, it, it the, the, the mug has officially been redeemed. I want to say thank you for everyone who has participated in this. This particular one was a lot of fun to do. Um, and I'm excited to show off the next batch of mugs. Uh, actually, the next one is not even going to look like a mug, but I'm excited to show it off soon. Uh, this will remain as the Tolls Mug Ruler 4th Edition for at least a week. So around about like um maybe next week tuesday or wednesday depending if i'm streaming on a tuesday there'll be a new mug available it won't be a mug it'll be something like a cat does exactly Rainer. have a good one Rainer. thank you so much for popping by i appreciate you i knew it wasn't even going to uh, become available like i'm sorry cap but look at it this way look at it this way silver lining right silver lining are we done with the brits is any of the brit invested enough to take the next mug you know I think, I think y'all good. Uh, what if the Twitch servers are in the UK? Oh, I guess there could be. I'm on my work laptop with VPN active. The connection point comes out of the USA, apparently. Huh. Look at that. Tools was using fucking VPNs. Y'all playing checkers. Tools is out where you're playing chess. Fuck. Congratulations again, Tools. Oh, we can all calm down now. I was worried that this was all going to happen tomorrow. Wait, did I spark not work with this thing? Let me thunder wave him. He avoided, fuck. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's go with... Ah! Water gun. Water pulse is not very effective. Good. I'm playing 5D checkers as for Kiki. <laughs> You're going to have to add tools to the list of now four names that you can't mention in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> to be safe, Jeds, I just won't talk about British people in general, you know? I think it's safer forever in that way. I'm going back to work. Have, uh, folks, have fun. You too, Twist. Thank you so much for popping by, man. Appreciate you. Tills is playing chess and the rest of us are trying to play whack-a-mole. <laughs> Didn't you make the mug not a mug to try to avoid the bits? <laughs> the Brits, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, th listen, Haley. when it comes to obtaining things and putting your name on it, the Brits get very excited. As a fellow Brit, I also get very excited about putting my names on things. But yeah, I am I am excited for the next um, switching of 
the Mug Ruler. I don't think the next Mug Ruler is going to be as uh, involved as this one. You know, the fact that I, I wrote out everyone's name basically by hand. It's going to be a bit more back to basics in that regard. But there will be a little bit of customization involved in it. And I'm excited to show it off soon. It's like a third of the way done. Uh, Spec has seen the designs. I think Spec has approved of them. And I have like sketches of future Mug Ruler stuff I'd like to do before I kind of run out of ideas. And at this point, it, call, it being called a Mug doesn't make any sense, but I don't really care. I don't really care at this point. Uh, did somebody say obtaining things and putting our name on it? Jordy's like, huh? Huh? Did someone have the national anthem out here? Where's my king? <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they used to do the... That the, the whole country's exactly cultist. If, if those countries just understood that in their defense, all they had to do was allow the Brits to put their name on stuff and then they would leave peacefully, you know? How much heartache would we have saved? How how empty would the museums be today? Thanks, Spec. Teacup? I do need, like, a straight-up teacup. That's absolutely right. I don't actually have straight-up teacup. Moon cup? Sure. My mouse uh, still hasn't caught a breath from the finger blasting. The whole desk is wet because of it. I'm sorry, could someone add quote that, please? I, mean, I don't have my keyboard on me. Oh, God. Because you mug each other for them? Uh-huh, I see what you did there, Spec. Uh, not the angle I was going for, but I'm now all for it. Oh, wait, I should go on heal, shouldn't I? Let's just go back this way. Where is it, this way? Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to heal and then continue this route. Oh, not that button, not that button, not that button. But now I'm being flustered. Uh, how many mummies would the, the Brits not be able to eat? I know. They'd starve by now. Out <laughs> their name on this D. <laughs> oh, see that, Jeds? Jordy's your biggest fan. Mmm, Munmis. <laughs> oh, God. But, like, for realsies, though, um, thank you for everyone, like, participating in this kind of stuff. I find it incredibly fun to do and to put on there as a way to, like, to continuously show thanks for people um, a seemingly accumu accumulating so much fucking points by watching me play and natter on about shit. Like, I appreciate it a lot. Fuck. Oh, is this, is this a good time to mention that I'm doing commissions? Hey guys, I'm doing commissions. It's official. I need to advertise it a little bit harder than what I've currently done. Oof, fuck. Hang on. Who do I have up front? Charles up front. Um, maybe Cubone? Nah, Cubone can chill for a bit. 28. Yeah. Let me also change the order of their moves. Get very picky when it comes to stuff like this. Um, much being... 65, 50, yeah. What is it, a physical attacker? Special attack, physical... Ah, oh, it's about the same. Doesn't really matter. Uh, psychic and then like this. There we go. So, yeah. Grass, flying, grass, and then flying. There we go. Fighting, flying, karate chop. This one, bounce, and aerial goes above this oh, one. No. There we go. Oh, hey, oh. There's a good use of money. Hang on, let me go the way. Speck! 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 Oh! Practice, practice. 
that he's wherever he is, he's you know comfortable enough just to chill on his own now. That's good. Yeah, I want to love him too. He did give me a lot of loving this morning though. Uh, you can commission yourself emotes with the mugs. Oh, God damn it, Spec! Why would you? Why twist the knife, Spec? I get paid in a few days. I'll look into. Oh, cheers, Cap! I appreciate it, man. I have 10k of points to spend. <laughs> nice. Gonna make you draw Harrow, Harrow, Harrow Hawk. Is that that character? Hang on. Is that 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 one character cap that you and Clawful told me about that time? I'll Google it at the time. Right. What was this again? Bug electricity. Let me put bug up here. Then spark above that. There we go. Checking the bag, because he's in the bag. Uh, water, confusion, yawn, headbutt, yeah. Here we go, change this one up here. He's pure ground, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Hmm. More accurate. Okay, I'm ready. It's that one, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey Adam, welcome in buddy. How you doing man? Congrats on opening commissions. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Adam, uh, you'll be happy to know that the uh, the the Mug King, the Mug Ruler, sorry, of the 4th edition has been decided. And it is yet another British person. The Brits are going strong with the ownership of the Mugs. Bug. <laughs> How you doing Adam? It's good to see you man. Yo, look at the fur for all. Um, Spark is the one I want. 65. 50, yeah. Well, Menace is truly absolutely. Hey, Clove, welcome. Good morning to you, too. Rigged. Honestly, I'm, I'm starting to question it myself at this point. You know? How you doing, Clove? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, done a lot of outstanding chores today. Sick. You feel like you've earned a well-earned rest at this point. All restock. <sighs> Son of a mother. Oh, that didn't do nearly enough damage. All right. Um. We just punch it. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Having uh, dinner tonight with the triangle. Wonderful. Adam's mentioning that they're having dinner tonight with the triangle. I'm very excited for you and the triangle. I hope things go well. Da, 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 da. What does uh, dinner tonight with a triangle look like? What are we eating? <laughs> What's your triangle strategy? That's really good, Pervot. That's very good. GG's, Pervot, you got me. Sex hands? <laughs> pizza. I hope it's pizza. It would make sense. You could do a thing. You could totally do a bit there, Adam, where you could lift up a slice of pizza and be like, you know what we have in common with this pizza right here in my hand? We're both triangles. And then they'll be in, like, they'll lean in and be like, what are you on about? And be like, we are a triangle. Uh, Comfy. Comfy. What is a Comfy again? It's a fairy Pokemon, I think. I should give someone steel wings. Yeah, that's definitely fairy. Okay, um, bounce on it. Um, you ever have like five minutes left on your break and suddenly feel a 20 minute poo hit your back door? Oh cap, that's awful buddy, I'm sorry man. It's been a while since something like that has happened to me, but it has happened to me at work, yeah. Wasn't, wasn't good, I had to rush. I had to rush poo. So, like, I managed to get that 20-minute poo down to, like, a, a five-minute poo, basically. But, like, there's so much left over. 
It's not good. Apparently, they don't really talk to each other anymore uh, beyond small talk. Huh. So, would this be like a healing dinner, would you say? I'm going to try to help. We're having salmon. Salmon will help. Your triangle level to rhombus. And by now, is a full-on summoning circle. I'm doing okay if you asked. I did, Clove. Frying some apples off the earth. Ooh. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. I um, mentioned to people that I'm having a bit of issue with stomach acid, but it's actually quiet down a little bit now. Sorry to hear that, Adam. Every time I am, I am leaving the house. Oh, the, the five-minute poop thingy? Yeah. Pizza is good for healing. I'm with Haley. Can we add quote that as well? That's very important. We should all understand how important pizza is. Listen, um, I'm so happy that you're all here. Listen, Adam, Adam, Clove, Haley, Tulls, uh, Deacon, Cultist, every everyone. Listen, listen. Um, could you all do me a solid, and maybe talk about the benefits of eating pizza tonight. I'm, I'm busy. I can't look. I can't look. It's a real-time combat. I can't turn around. I can't, I can't be switched out. Oh, it's sad. I can't be switched out. Just bounce again, and it was the worst that could happen. Uh, what's up, Herbert? Pete is like half bread and bread is good, right, Spec? Oh, you know, now that I think about a Herbert, there's a lot of bread involved with pizza and bread is good. You're, you're right. I don't see anything wrong with you. what you just said. Hey, Pepper, welcome in. Pepper, listen, how do you feel about pizza and the consumption of pizza for morality's sake? There is so many benefits of eating liver and onions tonight. There we go. In That's kind of weird, Cap. That's not directly pizza. We, I, I can work. I think Cap is suggesting that we put liver and onions next to a pizza. But we're going to need the pizza first to put it next to him. Thanks, Cap. What am I doing? <laughs> Did you know that pizza contains all of the four main food groups? Bread, sauce, cheese, and toppings. It's a well-balanced meal. Thank you, Deacon. I like that. Can we add quote that too? Tomato sauce, cheese, hot toppings. Hey, I love a bit of hot toppings. I was going to say that the pizza talk made me crave for so. Oh, is that right, Pepper? What would you suggest doing if you craved, uh, what was it called again? Pizza. What would you do about that situation, Pepper? Asking for a friend. <clears throat> uh, I've been told to do as you solid. There are many benefits to eating pizza. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I need to <clears throat> clean my throat for this one. One, it's amazing. Two, it's pizza. Three, the base is basically bread. Four, I like pizza. Five, it boosts morale. Six, it's pizza. Seven, who doesn't like pizza? Eight, this was not a paid promotion. <laughs> Checks in the mail, love. Thank you. I ate some the other day, uh, but it wasn't good. My favorite is bacon and egg. On the pizza? What are you laughing at? What do you mean? What's the insult? For some reason, I know egg can come in many forms. I'm just imagining someone just cracking an entire egg over a pizza. And the heat of the pizza just slightly cooking it. But it's kind of gross. <laughs> we put it next to the pizza. It's fine. This release the Dark Souls of Pokemon games. Sick. I'm, I'm down for that, Ailey. Morale is real. I agree. I agree. What is more important than feeling good? Cracking an egg on a pizza is absolutely a thing, and it's very yummy. Huh. Like, it has to be a hot pizza then, I assume, right? I think you're kind of fucking up if you just got, like, a runny egg on that thing. I mean, put it in the oven. <laughs> you not had egg pizza? It actually slaps. I don't think I've really put egg on my pizza. No, I don't think so. We are talking about pizza sick. I'll just one over here. Let me deal with this. 
Uh, too many things are pizza these days. I think you should have a nice asparagus for dinner. For Cap, what are you doing? Cap, you are not helping either cause. Ooh. <laughs> Cap's out here just wanting chaos. It's a bug. It's another bug. Um, I'm going to confuse the bug. He avoided it. Fuck. Asparagus pizza? I don't know about that, Clove. Unless, unless, hear me out. I'll meet you halfway. If it's like one long, thick, uninterrupted piece of asparagus that I can just remove with my fingers, then I'll do it. Uh, this is a really common <gasps> thing. Oh, bless you. Oh, my God. At home, to be honest. Is that right? Bye, no pizza, only veggies. Fuck, come on. What am I paying you for? Also, you can have pizza for breakfast. Bacon, sausage, egg, bits of hash brown, beans. Weird, I know. Lunch, a simple marg. Dinner, a fancy topping-based one. Dessert, swap uh, swap the tomato sauce for chocolate and dessert toppings. You know you know what? Tells you, you're, you know what? Pizza is so versatile. I hadn't realized until Tulls mentioned all the things you can do with it. What if you put a pizza on top of another pizza to make a pizza sandwich? <laughs> what if you did, Ellie? What if you did do that? What would happen? A simple mark. <laughs> I had stuffed pizza before. Uh, it had like tons of cheese inside the bread or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Clove, how's the situation with your boss? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Clove, we haven't checked in on your boss situation at the moment. What shape is that currently? Y'all, I'm trying to lose weight after three days of ETH, people. Yeah, we did. We did kind of go all out a little bit when that happened. I will literally eat any pizza for breakfast. I'm with Haley, honestly. As long as I can, I will consume the pizza. Uh, pizza sandwich is a calzone, isn't it? Yeah, basically. I've never had a really good calzone. I think most of the time when I'm presented with one, I end up just going pizza. Uh, let's see if we can catch this. Well, not that one. We'll catch the next one. I've seen it offered in Canada and the US. Sick. I've always wanted to try that... Um, uh, what's that Canadian food where it's like gravy and chips? I keep thinking Palpatine. But that's the dude from Star Wars. Poutine, maybe? Poutine. Is it Poutine? Okay, not Palpatine. Okay. <laughs> poutine, yeah, Poutine. Thank you. Always wanted to give that a go. That looks good. Don't give me trouble. I'll reduce you to rubble. That's right. We're going to sell this Pokemon to get rich, and we won't make no bones about it. If you want it back, you're going to have to take it. That didn't rhyme. Low. Stand firm. Think of what the president would say. That's what you say, chief, but you don't lift a finger. Why? I am Ether Foundation's last line of defense. What would become of the foundation if something were to happen to me now? Ah, here is a promising young trainer. Fight in my stead, child, and rout these team skull ruffians. I will bestow honor upon you if you do. You ready? Because I was born ready, yo. I need to know what the original translation of the Japanese was like. Uh, the other question we need to talk, which crazy food fool puts pineapple on a pizza? Oh, then it's, why would you desecrate it then? No one wants to ruin the pizza like that, Tolls. I think I brought this up before, you know? Um, there's no point eating pizza that's been on the floor for a week. Yeah. There you go. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Uh, we really want to hang... Uh, sorry, want to hang, but I'm still trying to move out of my current situation. My boss is pretty much in love with me. He wants to come look at house hunting with him. Aww. Uh, but I think I want to be on my own. So, ye, I don't know what I'm doing. Damn, Clove. You know, Clove, hear me out. 
Hear me out. Don't disregard this immediately. Have you considered just maybe going out for pizza? With said boss. Huh? What do you think? Yes! Give in to your pizza cravings, Anakin. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> to be clear though please don't crack an egg on a cooked pizza and hope the residual heat cooks it cook the egg also use small eggs not massive ones yeah i'm with deacon don't crack raw eggs on your pizza uh, i am just checking because we can then ban them for doing a got jam with your toes yep i never had pineapple on pizza but honestly each uh Honestly, to each their own. Oh, absolutely, Pepper. I've mentioned this so many times on stream about how developed I am as a human being and how I've grown over these, these years where I'm so open and accepting of other people and ways of life that I've definitely come up to a point right now in my life where I can confidently say that if you want to make the mistake of eating pizza, more power to you. You are free to make that mistake. See? So much, so much growth. Uh, he does want to go out, but I'm scared of the pizza or him. Oh, I, I assume him. Just think of the pizza clove. Somewhere public, you know, to protect the pizza. Thanks, kid. Yes, indeed. You are a trial goer, aren't you? You're a splendid trailer. I am deeply impressed. I'd like to reward you by showing you something truly outstanding. Once you have finished your grand trial, come to the Hano Grand Resort and I will, and I will take you to see a wondrous place. It's not creepy at all. Thank you for helping us out. I really owe you. I'm so glad there are nice young trainers like you around. Good luck on your island challenge. Oh, well. Nice. I help people. We save. Uh, if you all don't like pineapple, more for me. Yeah, there you go. There's That's actually the correct attitude. Switch my Pokemon. Especially because I'm still like technically with my partner, so I'm trying trying to move out ASAP. Yeah. Best not muddy the waters in that case, Clove. Just kind of nip it in the bud and then move on, you know? That'll be better for everyone involved. <laughs> on the pizza or just in general? <laughs> Why is everyone uh in an unconventional relationship? huddled into this channel this morning <laughs> i had nothing to do with a deacon i don't know what it is that has brought us all together it's pure coincidence uh as we have a problem with Haley. oh d don't worry i knew about Haley's pineapple ways for quite some time Ooh, another ghastly public is a good idea though yeah 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 absolutely Uh, I don't want to kill this thing. Oh, Water Pulse shouldn't kill it. Water Pulse is quite weak. Can <laughs> you do anything for Pizza Club? <laughs> um, listen, Club, hear me out. What if you went out for pizza, yeah? Somewhere public, and you went with a mutual friend, i.e. me, so I can protect the pizza. I mean, you from him and his intentions. Oh, there's two of them now. Fuck. I'm gonna have to kill one of them. Um, kill you. Adam and his uh, love pentagram, cha chaotic, and their boss, Haley and her pineapple. <laughs> Haley's the most concerning, I'm kidding. <laughs> pentagram, I worry for what we're summoning. Oh god. Mm. Oh god. Uh, if you ask Adam, he'll tell you to choose the horniest friend to monitor. Huh? I just pull out my phone and you're on FaceTime. So yeah, this is my friend as he's joining us tonight. Do it, Clove. And then put me next to the pizza. It'll be enough. We'll make it work. Ah, shit. That's going to half its HP, isn't it? Bollocks. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, I did. Oh, I killed it. Ah. Were you there the one time we met up in England in Pizza Hut and I spent the whole hangout time in the toilet? <clears throat> Still not have a ghastly. Makes me upset. 
Oh yeah, we did go to Pizza in London. You're right. That was pretty decent. Toilet. I mean, yeah, I don't, I can't really speak to the toilet situation, but it was pizza involved. Uh, what is this thing? It's a burb. I, I don't, I don't care. Was it in London? It would have been around there. I think it was. Can't say for sure. Pizza on the toilet? Just uh, skip out the middleman per bot. Easy access for the next pizza, you know what I mean? Could have been Southampton one with the, the parking ticket, yeah. Oh, could have been Southampton. Could have been, could have been, could have been. Listen, it was somewhere very privileged, all right? I was from the north. Everywhere down south looks privileged to me. That was the toilet conditions. Proper toilet. I know um, we went places in Southampton and I got that bloody park it ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could have been that. Could have been that. Could have been Nando's. It wasn't... I don't know if it was Nando's. It could have just been like another pizza joint that wasn't a pizza hut. I remember we going to some place that interior-wise didn't look like a traditional pizza. It was kind of fancy. That's a big fish. Moogle time. Uh, Resolief. Achah. Well, that didn't kill. I will be a good boy today and maybe not get pizza today, but uh, maybe we can all agree on a time that we can come together and have pizza together. Spec one, when would be a good day to do pizza? When you go running 10k, when's that gonna be? Fancy going running today? <laughs> oh, I wanted the full Moogle thing. Oh, yeah, that's a... Uh, so you need to do it twice then, Pepper. When you put the O in, O means outfit. And then if you do it again, but put H, you'll get the hat. It's always in two pieces. I have not made a redeem yet for doing both parts in one go. I think I tried it once. Um, but if someone redeems the other one at the same time, bad things happen. Oh, there's a man here who looks angry. Ah, shit. He wasn't even looking at me. He wasn't even looking at me. I'm having pizza for lunch, by the way. Ooh, just to help things. Fuck, Deacon. What kind of pizza is it, man? Oh, there you go, Pepper. Full Moogle, baby. Quite happy with the way the Moogle one came out. Hey, Fluffy. Uh, I don't know. Whatever my wife picks up. Gotcha. I don't care, pizza be pizza, I'm with you, Deacon. I mean, to an extent. I think for me, I don't, in all seriousness, I don't really give a shit what people put on the pizza. I just, I think it's funny. But for me, I, I will say in all honesty, um, maybe this will be kind of boring to most people. I genuinely just like cheese pizzas. Every now and then, I don't mind like a chicken pizza or a salami one, pepperoni or whatever. But generally speaking, I just like really good quality cheese on my pizza. And I just love to taste the like the hot tomato tomatoy sauce underneath it, and then just lavishly dipping that into some cool tomato ketchup as well, you know. And just feeling the cheese rip away from the part that I'm biting in. Oh, cheese! God, Moogle has is so cute. Thanks, Adam. Ooh, is this just gonna? This is just where I was. Just where I was. Oh, this way. I don't actually know if this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I want to say it is. So, you're the one Gladian was talking about. Hmm. You don't look like anything special to me. I'm Plumeria? Plumeria. I help keep Team Skull together. I'm like a big sister to all these numbskulls. You have realized that idiots all these guys are, right? Oh, sorry. You have realized what idiots all these guys are, right? But don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? I'm just gonna let that hang while I while I hug the spec. <laughs> Tattoo! God damn! <laughs> 
that that uh, white eye makeup though is such a such a thing. I'm streaming. I, I'd like to take a break and just consume something. You know? Maybe something like a sandwich? <laughs> Love you, Spec. <laughs> I haven't committed anything. What do you mean you have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only if you're not busy at all. When am I not busy? When? When? Um, but don't you think some dummies are cute in their dumbness? <laughs> That's what she said. <coughs> a random sidetrack. Was there ever a resolution to um, random underwear story? You are. Oh, do you mean like uh, the the pebs thing, the the pink lingerie with with the pebs thing going on? I don't think there was a conclusion. I know that Adam put a lot of work into getting the. Um, the cock board up to try to tie together what was going on. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I, I still think it's an open case, though. You know what I mean, right? You picking on my cute, dumb brothers and sisters is really annoying me. Oh, fuck, she's just... Okay. Something like a sandwich, but maybe, like, mm, an open one? Maybe that's circular and flat with, like, uh... And this is just off the top of my head. A tomato based sauce and melted cheese. That sounds interesting, Adam. What what would you call this? I totally missed Toast Messages that a pizza sandwich is a calzone. That's so real. Yeah, kinda of, basically. It's like a folded pizza. I think we should give this thing that Adam's banging on about a try. What shape was it? A circle. We could give it a try. Specs looking at me, I'm gonna look away. My stomach, right this moment in time, is not fantastic. It's not fantastic, it's true. I think the stomach acid is making me, like, aggressively hungry, though. I just put my sandwich order in with spec. <laughs> Maybe we should have, like, a pizza redeem? How do y'all feel about me making a pizza redeem? Speck is saying if you pay for the pizza, that's too much. We can't ask people to pay for the pizza. Look at the bug, look at the bug! It's so cute. <clears throat> oh shit, I should have thought about it having those attacks. Um, spark or crunch? I'm gonna go with spark first. Ah, fuck, don't confuse me, Golbat, come on! One charger bug, you got this, brother. Yush! And paralyzed, sick. Get a little crunch. A little crunch. Damn it. Bollocks. Not gonna risk it. Um, Raichu's a little bit weak right now as well. Go with Char. Uh, it depends on the cost and the currency being used or accepted. A circle, P, P, tomato sauce, tea sauce, pizza, pizza. <laughs> can we trademark that per bot? Uh, we can crowdfund a pizza order if you let us customize it. Sick. Be like when you're in spoons and someone keeps ordering you mushy peas. Fuck, that'll be awful. Tea sauce goes hard. Uh, you know. I'm not completely against the idea, Adam, but maybe it would have to be like a like a big deal. It'd have to be me making a whole boo about it in the future and setting it up in a in a very specific way. And there'll have to be parameters because it depends where we order from, right? Because there's only going to be certain things I can and can't eat. This is just a better bug bite. Yeah. Uh, Vsauce's pizza loving brother. God, everyone's leveling up. Holy shit. Rage. Yep. 
What does this do? As long as the move is in use, the power of rage raises the attack stat each time the user is hit in battle. That's interesting. Salander, um, do we have water? Yeah, we do. Although I don't actually know if Salander is water. Sorry, I don't know if it's fire. Maybe it's just a uh, dark type. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, looks like it's both. Have you seen there is a Facebook group where you can post your table number on the pub? It will just order you food and drink. Is that right? Yeah, that sounds super sketchy. I don't like that. I wouldn't be... I, I also, like, wouldn't be against trying things that people recommend trying out, you know? I do think that at some point I'm definitely going to have to give Pineapple Pizza a proper shake again. I'm in no rush. But... Um, upon someone explaining to me that it's more to do with a combination of salty and sweet, uh, you know, the type of meat that you have with it. And me, admittedly, being someone who um, haven't tried it in however many years, haven't really thought of it that way. I just don't want something sweet and wet to be on my pizza. But again, I think someone also explained that you have to grill the pineapple a very specific way. Mess with anyone in Team Skull again and I'll show you how serious I can get. Damn. Uh, I do that with drizzling honey on pizza. I did enjoy honey on pizza when I was in Japan, specifically on like the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry, my throat's kind of dry. What was it? The quattro from Maggi or however you pronounce it, the, the four cheese pizza. That was a thing in Japan. Aza. Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find a way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them. That's why she got lost. Now, I've got to go. The Masked Royal has a match and there's no way I'm missing it. That Masked Royal. What do you think he looks like under the mask anyway? Is she for real? <clears throat> you know, someone mentioning that uh, Cosmog here is just like... Um, space Broccoli. I came here for Nebby. Though... As you saw, I didn't come here myself so much as I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Dartrix. Let me heal. Oh, yes, sick. I love it in Pokemon games how they've introduced just like random healing from NPC characters when you're on like a, you know, trek. Within these ruins awaits the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. <clears throat> you. I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Melamela Island too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the Guardians mean to you? Just think what would have happened if you hadn't been he uh, here back there. There back then. You! Oh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Yes, my name is Lily. I work as Professor Kukui's assistant. And this is Azadokin. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. Azadokan, thanks for getting to know the people and Pokemon of Alola. Alright then. You've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. Yeah, sure, why not? What we got to lose anyway, I don't know. Great. We're going to give you guys everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. <clears throat> oh, rock type, sick. We should have plenty of things to deal with that, I think. Oh, one of the best I had was homemade base. Tea sauce, black pudding, haggis, and sweet chili sauce. Damn, man, that sounds like a lot. I don't know how I'd feel about the black pudding thing. Yeah, that sounds like a lot, man. It was trying to eat it uh, in the back of a car in a Scottish Highlands fuck. <laughs> Just to add to the authenticity. <laughs> I 
Get in there, Moss. Oh, she's only got three Pokemon. We're hyping up this fight to be something. Uh, yeah, just do this. Oh, Bug will actually be uh, effective, won't it? Oh, no, wait, he's part flying. And he's also part something else. What is he, then? Shit. Ooh, okay. Uh, Lily, let me switch to Slowpoke. Bom, 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 bom. Right. Um, I'll go with Water Pulse first. Maybe I should have went with Yawn to get the sleep in. See how much damage. Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting the sleep in first. Oh, yeah. Definitely going for some sleep. Wow, 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 wow. So it's part grass type, huh? I guess it. I never really thought about it looking at it like that. Um, in that case, I guess like just slapping it with some wind attack would be good. Although if it's part rock, I mean that won't make any sense. I'll figure it out. Uh, let's try karate chopping it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this might be good against it because it's no. I guess fighting negates it. I'm not going to think too hard about it. My brain is starting to fry a little bit. Okay, do we have anything else? Nah, let's just go with this. Uh, what are people's opinions on... Uh, Serene Malt Loaf? I don't think I've... Yeah, I'm with Clove. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Shall I Google it, Adam? Hang on. Let's keep... Let me grab my keyboard. Uh, let me just share this. Is this what you're talking about, Adam? Serene Original Malt Loaf. Oh, I have seen this before. I have seen this before. Um, I don't think I've fucked with this before, but I feel like we sell this at my grocery store when I was younger. Type of sweet le level leavened bread made with malt extract as a primary ingredient is a chewy texture and often contains raisins yeah i'm not the biggest fan of raisins in stuff so i don't think i would have fucked with this when i was younger to be honest but it doesn't look that bad pigeon is interesting i see someone's toasted it here uh, it's like a dense as fuck chewy bread stuff yeah, I think we have a Finnish variant, but it's similar, I think, and love it. Huh. Interesting. I think I mentioned before that we have a place um, here, like, in the Balkan area and, like, Turkish food as well. Big fan of pide. This. <clears throat> Which is, like, this really delicious, soft and crunchy bread laced with like a lot of cheese and meat and stuff you can also have one with like a tomato base or like you can have one with like um some mince meat on it and it's really good there's an egg there's an egg right there look at that fucking egg but yeah th this is this is good stuff <laughs> you a real one <laughs> that looks dang as i've never seen this but it looks like sex i want it it's incredible pita is really really good we had one, I posted a picture on the, the Discord. We actually ordered one for um, uh, end of fasting season as food. And it's really, really good. It's delicious. Don't stop talking about food, man. I'm getting hungry. By which I mean, let's keep talking about food. You showed pita with an egg, but pizza with an egg is a bridge too far. I don't think I've ever... Um, had pide with an egg either 
But it doesn't surprise me as much because there's P days where they put like um, other greasy stuff on it. And it's the way that the kind of housing of it contains it inside. I think the only thing about the pizza with an egg on it is just the idea of someone cracking an egg on it and just letting it kind of um, bake it, which of course we've established is not the way to go about it, but I've seen that be done with certain types of food in Japan before. Lichen rock? Uh, sure. I think it's called Finnish Archipelago Bread. I'm not sure how similar it is. Oh, cool. Formal. Lego. I can give that a quick Google as well, Purple, while we're here. Oh, interesting. Yo, visually it looks quite distinct, though. Hang on, let me just share what, I've, what I'm Googling here. This is what I'm seeing. Finish a go bread. Oh, hang on. I copied your question mark as well, apparently. It has a sweet, malty, and syrupy taste. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe it is very similar. It says it all. Awesome finished bread, baby. This guy's happy about it. So she, apparently. <clears throat> Bit chewy, probably more crumbly. Love it, especially with just butter. Ooh. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limit. You guys are the best. Here, the rock type Z crystal. The Rockium Z is all yours. We did it. You obtain a Rockium Z, you open yeah, yeah okay, okay. The rock type the rock type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial. Uh-huh. Use it well. The rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. Pew. You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebi. It's not originally from here, and I want to help it get back to its home. But I don't have any idea how to do that. Yo, PB! Profound badness, thank you so much to the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Oh, excuse me, my throat is a little bit dry today. Welcome in, everyone. How y'all doing? Welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you so much to the raid, PB. I'm gonna kiss that Moogle. <laughs> do it, I dare you. Watch me enjoy it. <laughs> How you doing, PB? Oh. Welcome in, Skye, Sky, Ski, Sekeye. I'm gonna go with Yeah, Yeah, because I know it's probably wrong. How you doing? Thank you so much for the raid, everyone. Welcome in. <laughs> Listen, per PB. Before I forget, um, if you need to take a break, if you need to grab something to eat, if you need to shower. Uh, please take care of yourself first. If you're hanging around, though, would love to have you. Also, how do you feel about pizza? I I'm doing good. Was doing uh, some endgame FF7, and there's so much. There's a shit ton, dude. I was lurking before I started streaming myself. There's so much to do in that game. I was quite adamant halfway through that game that I was going to platinum it. 
but I don't usually look at platinum list trophies until I'm done with the game. Um, and then when I was done with the game, I looked up just how much uh, you'd have to do. And I think it's doable. I think some of the challenges are going to be a pain in the ass. Um, not to put spoilers out there, I won't talk with any spe specific things to do with story. Um, but with Chadley, there's a bunch of like VR missions that you have to do, like challenge quest thingies. Some of those seem like they're going to be really, really difficult. Welcome in, Toffee Cake. How are you doing? The name's Glove. I'm ordering some today. Fuck, PB, you are? What are you doing? What's, what's a pizza going to look like? What have, you t what have you told them to do with the pizza that you're sending to you? Fucking Chadley, I know. I was getting sick with the gold salsa ones in particular. There's a lot of gold salsa ones. I I enjoyed the, um, what was it? The initial stuff that you have to do before you open up the more difficult tier. And I enjoy doing most of the Chocobo ones. Like, the Chocobo racing is is very functional. I still think there's it's a bit bloated. There's a lot of it, but it's kind of fun. Which I think is maybe true with all of the minigames there. Like, they're, they're absolutely serviceable and fine, if not a bit bloated. Uh, one bomb giving me the business. <laughs> Pepperoni, fried chicken, uh, sorry, chicken, sausage, mushroom, thin crust. Damn, PB. Is that a regular order for you? Like, is that your go-to? I've never fucked with a thin crust in a long time. Most of the pizza that we get here is like, it's not thick based, though I really kind of like a thick based pizza. That sounds really good though. Fried chicken and pizza? Hell yeah, Clove. Do it every couple of months. Oh, sounds good. Uh, looks over to online stream. Haley is on uh, Mass Effect. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so glad Haley has started the Mass Effect adventure. Don't worry, Tulls. We'll, we'll head on over there in due time. I saw a chicken waffle pizza once, actually. Never had it though. That sounds good too. Whoa. So, PB, are you going to go for like 100%? Or what percentage of Final Fantasy VII are you going to commit to? Or do you not know yet? Because I still don't know. I haven't deleted it off my hard drive just yet. I'm going to it like offline when I can. Yo, Rune Tooth, welcome in, buddy. How you doing? Welcome in, fellow ultra homie. Definitely not 100%. To 100% it, um, to do the trophies, I mean, you'd have to replay all the chapters on harder difficulty, which is actually one of the only things which I'd be down for doing. But all the other stuff, um, specifically some of the mini games that I did not enjoy going through and doing like all the variants of those, I don't know if I have that in me. I'm thinking might not even do all of the fights. The fights, man, I um, it's one of those things... If I'm going to do it, it's going to be like now or never while the combat system is very fresh in my mind and I kind of have a grasp over what material combinations I like using. I know for a fine fact that if I don't do it now and I pick up the game in a year or two just to refresh myself on the story, I'm not going to have it in me to go that far and that deep in it. But I imagine some of that stuff might be quite rewarding because some of the later fights are really fun. Again, no spoilers. I'll be very careful not to put any spoilers out. I know people are still playing the game. I know Rune has finally gotten around to playing some Final Fantasy VII, which I'm very happy about. But yeah, we just finished the last challenge, I think, on this island, Akala Island, with Olivia here. So we're just heading to the next area. Pew? Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises, and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help but give you a hand. Ow! Oh, your Kahuna Olivia, I'm Hao from Mickey Town. God, what is what is that thing that you're dragging with you, Hao? Good lord! You've got to let me battle you. One. Quick, someone put it down. Guess what? This weird green guy from Ether told me to come to Hano Grand Resort once I finish up with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Oh, the Ether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, Azadokan, but why not go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The Ether Foundation? Um, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Hao's battle goes too. 
even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt. But I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you two. Maybe I can't show off all of Breon's and the rest of my team's strengths like my Gramps, but I'm still gonna do the best that I can do. You do that, Howe. He's such a he's such a go-getter kid. You're just you, right? Everyone is. And what's wrong with that? Why should it matter who your family is? I want to see what it is you kids can do. So show me your own full power. Look at him. Like, I I complain a little bit about how, you know, rivals have changed over the years. And there's not like a an antagonistic like he doesn't feel rivalry to me. He's just a he's just how? He's just a bloke. He's just a kid who wants the best for his friend. I like that he's Chip, and I feel like if anything bad did happen to him, I'd be genuinely upset. Uh, one percent for me wouldn't mean even the platinum, just all the Johnny things. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the Johnny thing is the. I assume would be the hardest uh, trophy to get, even. Just because of how much you'd have to fucking do. Parking at Olivia. That's why we should put it down. That sounds like an early 2000s rom-com. <laughs> what, barking at Olivia? It doesn't sound like that would aged very well. Oh, we can just fucking zip out of here. What are we doing? Hang on. Uh, oh, I haven't been here before. Is that right? Yeah, okay. We need to go south of this place, I guess. I uh, guess I'll just do the rest of the side quest. It's so damn much game. It's huge. Do you know what your final time was for completing the game? Like, I'm well over 100 hours in that game. And I'm glad that I have Spec to help me out with the uh, the piano sheet stuff, because I was absolutely fucking awful like that. I was very impressed with Rune. I was watching Rune yesterday. Was it yesterday, Rune, you were doing it? With the piano? You got way further in that one track than I did. Where are we going? I guess we're just going south from here. I should probably go to the center first. Oh, you haven't beaten it yet. Okay, okay. Go, go, shall we? Big gamer miasma farming right now. I know the feeling. I know the feeling, PB. Take care of yourself. Enjoy the shower. Thank you again for the raid, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, hello. I've been trying for years to get the gunk off. At this point, the, the gunk has kind of just formed its own part of itself on me. I played a rhythm game or two. Oh, yeah? That one sucks, though. It kind of does. I, some of the songs aren't too bad. Like, I feel like... I know it's much easier to do, but the first one, which was um, the Tifa theme one, I thought that was fine. Like, it felt like if you went by the rhythm, you could actually hit it properly. But some of the, like, the next two or three or whatever, I was having a hard time until, like, I sped up the visual aid thingy. Appreciate the luck, Pepper. I should have healed. Let me head back. I don't think it is on beat. And, like, the way the, the music in the background kind of tries to fit with the sound effect or whatever they use doesn't feel right either which is weird because you know fucking square enix have got a whole uh, rhythm game I'm not sure what they were thinking it's cool that they have the ability to have the piano divided into the sticks like that because there's some cool shit you can do like that so i don't really blame the way that they've set it up it's more to do with how the mini game works <laughs> better casting than avoiding yeah i never did that pepper i always wanted to i could never Ooh, there's definitely something there come on what are we doing what are we doing if you become the gunk clove it can't hurt you anymore oh it's a lily pup let me try not to kill it
Um, most of this is probably going to kill it. It's, Ominous Wind is not super... Oh, wait. It's, it's not going to have any effect. It's normal type. 60 versus what? 50... If you survive this, my friend, I will put you in a ball. Think about it. Consider it. Next time, eh? The general stick usage across the game in things like the, the boxing, etc. I still can't get used to. Fucking hate the boxing one. It feels like early PS1 analog stick fuckery uh, when they first introduced them. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they had to do them, right? Like, they were forced to do it. Okay, that's kind of, they, Fucking, what was it? That PlayStation 3 game, Leia, the one that you're on Dragons, that got a raw deal because of just developers being like, oh, we have to use the six axis. Oh, bird. Sick. Uh, oh, apparently this will be super effective. Sure, why not? My mind associates moving uh, my character in any direction with the left stick. Not both sticks for each direction. Yep. Yeah, I'm with you. When I was doing them, again, just because I'm not very good at that. I'm not very good at rhythm games in general, right? Um, I kind of just try to focus on one end and then switch to the other end. Spec, though, is much better at those things than me, and she has gotten an A grade on every single one of them, <clears throat> along with, like, at least three or four perfect runs. And she's even, like, A-ranked um, one of the post game sheets. Like, there's a, I think there's one or two post sheets that you don't even have to do uh, as part of, like, um, the side quest stuff, but she did it anyway. Hello. Which is insane. Yeah, honestly. Let me go and yell for her. Spec! We have hug. Courtesy of Rune. Did you just hug? Come here. It's like needing to erase years of muscle memory or something. It's completely different from what most video games ask you to do, yeah. It feels kind of unnatural. Wait, is this a random encounter? What are we doing? I already have a lily pup. Huh. I'm fucking losing it. A bit tired today. Didn't sleep very well. I got woken up a lot by Kitten last night. He is uh, somewhat of a light sleeper. And, uh, oh! Oh, where is he? I can hear him. Um, hang on, two seconds. I just heard, heard him walk up. Hey! Hi! I've obtained cat. Hi! You okay? What's the matter? I think he just woke up. Oh no, he saw my sandwich. Fuck. He saw my sandwich. Okay, you know what, guys? This might be a good time for me to take a short break to deal with Cat and to have my sandwich before he has my sandwich. Uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm hit myself on a bureau pack. <laughs> Don't make me sound like a pervert. No, come on. <clears throat> Clove would never. Clove would never. I'm gonna be right back. to cloud for a second and then back not one bit oh clouds grown up so much in this game oh he cqc hugged her my man you never see. Oh, next time I'll handshake hug you. <gasps> Are they gonna do it? <gasps> they did it! They made a baby! Could've been Barrett. <laughs> Could've been Barrett! Damn it! Could've been Barrett. Woo! Cloud Juni ain't coming, baby! Well they fought. Oh they frogging! <laughs> <laughs> Come 
come on come on come on come on come on come on okay drop that pick up that equip that don't equip that move over there unequip that get your rpg out shoot it in the penis ah! fuck what is going on we're good i think they can swim you are well, Yo, they like can swim. swimming they can swim Uh, 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 fire. That's effective <laughs> in water. It's water, That's not effective Hilly. in water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he dropped a bangle. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh. You might wanna... Fuck. Uh, just chuck it in. What the fuck? We did it! Oh, god. <laughs> Okay, don't go too far because you know you don't have much health. Oh god, he's up! <laughs> Fuck me! Oh, Where are you guys? What? Don't go, come back! It, it left don't go. you! It left you! Don't go! <laughs> don't go! Oh my god, it's gonna go back! Don't go! Further and further! Don't go! Oh my god! Oh my god! Is this a bad person? People are shooting at me! I don't know from where! I don't know what any of these buttons do! What is this? My map is gone, so I don't know where I'm going. Is that a bad time? I died! Snake, Your first you death right? was this. Snake? They Snake! shot at me! That's how you die! People shoot at you! Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, but which button is... I told you to stand back. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, she, she's actually. Oh, God. Did you see that? They just smacked her on the side of the face. Oh, my God. Oh, she wasn't ready for that. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Oh, we've got a combination of things together. Oh, we're friends. Oh, okay. Kitten has been rescued. Um, sandwich snack has been consumed. It wasn't a very big sandwich. It's just going to hold me over until more food is available. Love, thank you so much for the three stream streak. I appreciate it. I also realized that for uh, anyone who's left over here from the raid, I forgot to introduce myself. So that should tell you how professional I am and why you should stay here. Uh, but I am Azadokin. I play video games and sometimes I'll draw pictures. Um, I'm playing Pokemon Ultra Moon because I am attempting to catch them all. <laughs> Thank you for being around, Club. I appreciate it. I'm fine. I'm finally doing the thing, the tagline, the catching them all thingy. Um, and to be honest with you, I don't think I need too much from Ultra Moon other than the, what was it, the Ultra Beasts and the Lola Marowak. I think. Oh, excuse me. Hey, what are we doing? Uh, what time is it? I've got a little bit more time. Um. Let's go this way. I love it when my pog spin. What am I? Oh, that's right. The 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 dude, the creepy dudes, wanted me to go to the uh, hotel. It's a fancy ass hotel. I can I move? Oh, I can. Ooh. So you've come at last. Ah, but forgive me. I have yet to introduce myself. You may call me Faba. I told you Faba, but I told you before. <laughs> I would show you someplace astounding, right? Well, that wondrous place is Ether Paradise. Tell me about your Ether. Sorry, tell me about. Let me tell you about- fuck, sorry, I'm distracted because Kitten has jumped on me and is licking my fingers. Who knew that I'd lose the ability to read as someone, someone starts licking my fingers? Just as the name suggests, Ether Paradise is a veritable paradise for Pokemon that floats far out into the sea surrounding Alola. 
It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protecting of people. You know, I was always very good at patting my head and rubbing my tummy at the same time. Maybe getting your lingus fingers licked and trying to communicate should be a thing. Lingus ficked. I'm, I'm, I'm completely broken. Having my fingers licked has completely broken me. <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> uh, appreciate the luck, Purbot. Enjoy the grubbing. Six fingers? No, Adam, come on. <laughs> Is that what constitutes a sex fingers? Oh, okay, hang on. Let me compose myself. Deep breath. <sighs> Welcome back in, Rena. Eee, sick knitting. Oh, thank you for sharing the knitting, by the way, the other day, Rena. It looks really good. It is an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protect or the protecting of Pokemon. I've got, I've, I've lost it. Of course, I'm an adult who keeps his promises. So I will prove to you that all I've told you is the absolute truth with a tour of the ether paradise. You will come, won't you? There we go. If I just like read it but, like, like this will be fine. Good, good. Then you'll come with me. Ether paradise will amaze you. Wait, take me too. Oh. Even Kahuna Olivia has come to see you off. As a Kahuna, I look after all the trial goers who come to my island. They're like my own children. Not that I've got any. I've never even gotten married. Wow, okay, Olivia. Listen up, you two. Your greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest allies, the Pokemon besides you. Thanks. Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend to. You go see all the amazing tech that Ether's developing and tell me about it later, yeah? That's right. I'll see you on the next island. Ula Ula Island, yeah? Then let's meet up at Male Malai? Male Ma. Mm. I'm going to go with Malai. Hang on. Yeah, because like, it's like lying. Yeah, Malai Garden. Yup, it's goodbye, Akala Island. Though I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Then let us enjoy an adventure upon the grand vessel that will take us across the high seas. By which I mean to say. The ferry. Yo, have any of y'all fucked on a ferry before? No, hang on, let me reword that. Have any of y'all been on a ferry, not fucked on a ferry? When I was living in Japan, we had to take a ferry a lot because we lived on an island. Let me tell you, I was so excited to try out a ferry for the first time in my life. And that excitement quickly evaporated within like 20 minutes of being on that thing. Can you believe a big hunk of iron like Ether Paradise can float in the sea? And it's all because of the Pokemon holding it up. Did you know that, Azadokan? Wait, really? A Pokemon? <clears throat> Knew I could count on you to react. Oh, I can't wait to see, to actually see inside Ether Paradise for myself. Hang on. I've got like a visual now that there's a bunch of Machamps or whatever laced at the bottom of this place keeping it up. It's kind of fucked up. Oh, thank- I just noticed what you're doing, Spec. Thank you so much for plugging in my commissions there, Spec. I appreciate you. We go towards games and pizza? Hell yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, good to know, Adam. I think if I attempted the first yes, Adam, I would throw up on said person. I do not travel very well on a ferry. Here we are, you two. This is Ether Paradise. Yo, is that a pseudo wood or are you just happy to see me? Ether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokemon. It has been outfitted with all the latest technology for this purpose. Downstairs, our teams work on developing new Pokeballs and more. Yes! All for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs within Ether Paradise, a jamming signal is broadcast throughout the facility to prevent them from functioning. I guess kind of like what happened in Metal Gear Solid 1. When you got to that one place. So like, oh, we're jamming, you can't use any weapons. I mean, I ain't kink shaming as <laughs> whatever you're into it what no 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 i'm not into throwing up stuff no absolutely not adam even just the thought of it man i can't handle it excuse me mr faber 
Yes, excuse you. What is the meaning of this form of address? I have a title for a reason. How else will anyone know how important I am? Yes, Branch Chief Faber. Wow, he's incredibly unlikable. Now, I must go speak with the President about our conservation efforts on Akala. Show these children around and then take them to meet the President as well. Uh-huh. She has mommy energy? That hairstyle totally is. Oh, she's got a lovely smile. Welcome to Ether Paradise as Loken and how? My name is Wick. Wick Wicke? I'm gonna go with Wick, maybe. Uh Alola. Wait, you know who we are? How do you know that? One of our employees told me about your meeting on Akala Island, and of course, I heard how you helped protect the Pokemon there too, young Mr. Howe. Thank you very much. Let me show you around the main entrances up above us. Oh, this is a really reedy bit, isn't it? I usually skip over some of the text, but I feel like this might be important. Just have a grasp of where this game is going. I was hoping to get to the, the next island before we call it today. Maybe this section won't take too long? Seems somewhat involved though. This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk there if they need it. Oh look, it's a Blossom and the, uh, what's it called again? Dewpider or something? You and How are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose you must be around 11 then. Yeah, I am. How'd you, how'd you know how old I am? Whoa! Yeah, I took the first chance I had to join in the Island Challenge once I turned 11. But someday, I really want to be able to beat my Gramps, but he's way too strong. So for now, I'll just enjoy my Island Challenge. How, how lovely for you. I suppose all children must yearn to take a journey of their own choosing when they get to be about your age. Though you're hardly just children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. You know, it's kind of fucking wild when you think about the whole thing about Pokemon. Like, I, again, from the top of the stream, I, I don't think you should think too hard about anything to do with the Pokemon universe. But the fact that we had a Pokemon based on the UK, the Gala region, and they send off kids to go on an adventure and nothing bad happens to them, like they don't get shanked or something, completely unrealistic. As a look in, how? Would you two like to see the cons uh, conservation area upstairs? He's a button, let's push it. They're 11 years old. So this was the place at the very beginning of the game where there was a cutscene with um, Lily and Cosmog, I believe. So that's why she was hesitant to come here, I guess. We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. And we also try to support Pokemon that need a little extra protection. Like Corsula, for example, they are quite terribly overhunted by a Pokemon called Marini. Marini? Marini? Forgot which one that is. I hope you don't mind if I read a passage from my old Pokedex. I travelled through Kanto before, when I was younger, you see. Ocelot. In Alola, where their natural enemies, Marini, are plentiful, many Corsula have stubby branches on their heads. Yeah, my gramps is always saying that nature's got its cruel side. Sure, as it gives us blessings. But can the Ether Foundation really protect all the Pokemon uh, that are out there? Nature does have its own balance, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans should try to affect that, can't it? That's pretty amazing. The Ether Foundation seems awesome. But why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know for sure what our president is thinking sometimes. If you'd like to meet President Lusamine? Lusamine. Lusamine? I'm gonna go with Lusamine. She should be here in the conservation area now. I've never had to say these names out loud, so even though I'm, I recognize these names from like the first game, I've never had to say them out loud and I don't watch the anime. Yeah, mate, I know it's Sudowoodo. Wood? Question mark. Wood? 
Question mark. Team Pokemon I don't know about Team Skull. Uh, what are we doing here? He's here in the conservation area now. Yeah, that's what you said, but I don't... Oh, I see. Okay, not this way, I guess. Yo, can I sniff here? I can't. Always be checking if you can get a good sniff in, you know what I mean? Sami is known as the mysterious Pokemon. If it's really a star from the night sky appearing to us in a different form, then it's like a Pokemon is just using us humans and making us take care of it. Do you ever imagine things like that? I do. Can't say I have. When Pokemon evolve, their appearance can change quite a lot. Some, pe uh, some Pokemon can also change forms, which can change how they look and their stats. And then their original... Okay, we know all this. Come on. This is the kind of stuff I feel like I can just skip over. I know every Pokemon game's got to act like it's the, someone's first Pokemon game. Are you following me? Oh, right. It's this thing again. GG's. I remember when um, I saw Starmie in 3D and just thought kind of how wild it was. That it's so thick in the back. Because back in the day when it was just Star You and Starmie sprites, they kind of just looked like the same thing, right? Just this one had more. Oh, that leads back. It wants to play with you? I think it wants to eat me, Clove. I know that look. We are also protecting so called regional variants. Oh, yeah, okay. That's great. I know that look, Clove. It's the one that Spec gives me every morning before breakfast. My sweet Pokemon, I promise I'll keep you safe. I'll protect you with my love. Oh, I need to blow my nose. Where's my nose? <laughs> Sorry, not where's my nose? Where's my tissues? <laughs> oh, Sorry, sinuses and fucking uh, pollen. Oh, good lord. Ugh. As his friend, not food. I yell it every morning, Clove. Then I've got like a good 20 minutes to grab some food until Spec doesn't give a shit what the difference is. Ah. Yo, those heels, though. You must be Azadokan and how? Welcome to Ether Paradise, the Ether Foundation's own private island. I am the president of the foundation, but please. Call me Lusamine. I'm so glad that we could get to meet. I'm glad there are people like you who travel the islands to learn more about Pokemon, but there are also those unfortunate people who harm Pokemon for their own selfish reasons or even for profit. I would never. Yo, Ryan, welcome in. Thank you so much for the resub, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated, man. Look at you double digiting me. Thank you so much, dude. How are you doing, by the way? I hope you're well. Good morning, question mark, to you. Although I assume it's like early afternoon, maybe. I don't know. Hope you're well, dude. And that is why I am here. I will be like a mother to all of those poor Pokemon and shower them with, with love. Even Pokemon from distant worlds, far from the Alolan region, are worthy of my love. Wow, Miss Lusamine. I don't know how you can do all this. You're like, not even that much older than us. Oh, you sweet boy. I'm already over 40. You are? Holy shit, she's over 40 and she's in an anime video game? Wait, what? Oh, you. She's older than Auron. Let that sink in. The right style does wonders, you know? And how? Your style is a bit wanting, hmm? I'll have to take you out sometime and help you pick a smashing outfit. Uh, l like what you wear? I don't think anyone else could pull that kind of look, except maybe Lily. Oh, don't you worry. You just leave everything up to me. Trust me, children would be all 
sorry, children would all be much happier if they'd only listen to the adults around them. You hear that? Eh? Eh? It's almost 8 a.m. I thought so. It's still pretty morning. Good. Oh, hello. Are we having a moment? That tremor, did something happen on the lower floors? Uh huh. I smell a villain. Don't know what you're talking about. Is that because she's over 40? You are. Have you come from a distant world? Beno, Meno. Miss Lusamin, stand back. That thing's not right. It's trying to do one of those Fortnite dances. You poor creature. Oh, I guess I've got movement. All right. So, yeah, this is part of, like, the Ultra Beast kind of stuff. I think, overall, it's an interesting inclusion to the Pokemon kind of mythos and design. But I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm totally fussed on most of them. I think uh, Guzzlord is a sick addition. And the, uh, what was the, the Buzzswall or whatever? Like, I like those, but, like, this fucking thing and the other clown looking like one I could give a shit about. Uh, yeah, why don't you just hit it with, um, Bloom Doom? Are you not looking forward to this meeting, Tulls? Why don't you steer the meeting in the direction you want to take it in, Tulls? Bring up Helldivers 2. See how many of them are playing it. Change it to a Helldivers 2 meeting. Ask them how they feel about pizza. There you go. I guess we're switching Pokemon. I have no idea what this thing is, by the way, in terms of typing. Get in there, Char. Maybe punch it. I don't know. Oh, that's poison. Um, fuck. I don't think fighting type is going to be good. Yeah, okay. Then we want psychic attacks. Uh, maybe this. Nope, that's even worse. I wonder if I have this. I know I started the Dynamax uh, adventure stuff in Sword and Shield and caught a few of the Ultra Beast stuff. I don't know if this one is one of them. Ooh, trippy. The unidentified creature disappeared. So it's true. I still need that Pokemon. I need to get it back. Miss Lucimin, are you okay? Obviously, she's probably talking about Cosmog, I guess. Why so shocked? Was it your first time seeing an Ultra Beast? Those creatures, those mysterious creatures that live beyond the Ultra Wormholes, the holes that suddenly open in the sky and lead to Ultra Space. It will serve you well to remember this. Who the? Seriously, what's with the getup? These are my guests, the Ultra Recon Squad. They have been given the Foundation advice about the Ultra Beasts. Why don't you introduce yourselves? So we meet again, Trial Goa. The Ultra Recon Squad is, well, 
as the name suggests, it is a group that investigates ultra wormholes and ultra beasts. This is Captain Psycho, and I am Solera. Uh, I guess the wormholes? We have also come to Alola region from another world via an ultra wormhole. Okay, so this establishes that there's multiple different worlds, I guess, because they're not from the same one. <clears throat> a world of darkness without light. There is a creature known as Necro Necrozma. It is able to bestow light on uh, upon others, but now it runs wild beyond reason. We call it the blinding one out of respect, but... I fear that the day may come when Alola loses its light to Necrozma. Necrozma is um, the thing, the additional thing to this game, I believe, along with this recon group. I don't remember Necrozma being a thing or this recon squad stuff in Pokemon Sun. If this Necrozma or even an Ultra Beast like the one we just saw should come to this world from another, the Aether Foundation will be prepared to protect the light of Alola. Rest easy, you will not need to worry about a thing. Alright, well. Yo, what the hell? Yeah, Ryan, Pokemon's going places. Uh, well, went places. Wick, these two are still in the middle of the island challenge, aren't they? Please deliver them to the next island. I will go and check that none of our poor resident Pokemon came to any harm. And I need to speak with Mr. Faber about exactly what happened downstairs. It may be that our experiments to open an ultra wormhole are not going as well as we'd hope. I'll see the two of you to Ula Ula Island then. <laughs> Look at how. Uh. She's got a cool design though, as the antagonist of this game. I never thought I'd actually get to see the Ultra Wormhole in my life, never mind meeting people from another world. Man, the surprises just never stop coming. We've got to tell Professor Burnett about this the next time we see her. I'm glad you feel that way. What happened here today was a surprise to us all as well, but I was very glad to get to meet you both. Please take this to remember your visit. Some malasada for how? Yes, big malasadas, awesome. Isn't it crazy how malasadas taste even better when you eat them together with someone else? That is crazy how, you fucking wholesome twat. Yes, I think I know what you mean. Meals always taste better when you share them with the ones you love. And for you, Azadokan, a TM for the move Psychic. Got really aggressive towards the end, that was kind of weird. I hope you both have wondrous adventures on your island challenge. Okay, well, we're out. Malasadas are the best. I don't think I've ever had them, Ryan. We will. Thanks, Miss Wick. It's like a type of fried bread, right? Is it sweet? Is it anything like a donut? My heart's still kind of racing, you know? The Ultra Wormhole is real, and the Ultra Beasts are real too. And now this Ultra Recon Squad too. The world is just way too big. I bet we'll discover even more new things on the next island too. We're going to need all the energy we can get. Time to dig in. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. You want a Malasada? Ah, so good. Shoot, I already ate the whole thing. Big fried dough ball. It's basically a giant donut hole and sometimes it has filling. Oh, sick. That does sound like a good time. Oh, yo, this place looks nice. Land ahoy! Alright, terra firma, underfoot again. Ula Ula Island is like another totally different place 
than Melemele or Akala, huh? We're supposed to meet up with the professor, right? Where was it? Malai Garden? Why'd he want us to go to the garden? To our garden, sorry. Guess we'll find out when we get there, right? <clears throat> we made it to Ula Ula Island. That means another new island dex, okay? Okay, let me just check where we came from. Ooh, sticker. Oh, it's a castle. See la, yes, yeah, see la yourself. Yeah, I think I'll get to the uh, Pokemon Center before we call it. I'm just gonna check if there's anything missing around here. I can hear Spec struggling with a kitten because she's cooking right now, so I'll I'll go and help her. I'll quickly run through and talk to all these uh, civilians to see if there's anything they want to do. Yeah. Or oh, a tourist. There we go, see? You never know what people might give you. Nugget sweet. I need to sell those stuff. I forgot. We also didn't do the, the Lotto Roto. Lotto Roto, whatever it was called today, I don't think. Maybe it's once a week, I don't remember. I like the music here a lot. Alright, what have we got? Wow, this is so... Wow, hit me in the feels, Pokemon. You know, those times where you do nothing at all and just lays about? They can be a really beautiful thing. You hear that? I'm gonna try that after this stream. So seriously, I just got a shiny Pokemon through Wonder Trade. Mate, if it's got like a website name on it, it's, it's hacked. I'm sorry. Who's gonna tell him? When your Pokemon evolve, do you think they feel like, yes, finally? Huh, I never really thought about it. Stand back, child. I want this Pokemon to snap my neck. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jesus, I meant to send that earlier. <laughs> my bad. Wait, which Pokemon are we talking about? <laughs> uh, U-turn is not a bad move. And Shadow Claw is not bad, but I don't feel like spending money on any of this right now. I think we're good. Bum, 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 bum. Some lady that was like talking about how to, how kids are inferior. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Where they should just listen to adults. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with you. And on that note, this is where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you so much for joining me, people. Today has been a lot of fun. Thank you for PB for the raid and for the raiders coming in and hanging out. And thank you for everyone being in chat too. And of course for the Mug Ruler 4th edition who is now officially named as Tulls. Who is currently in a meeting and I'm sure he's having a riveting time.